Good morning from Mission Control in Houston and the International Space Station Flight Control Room. You are looking live at the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station, inside which two Russian cosmonauts, Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov, are suited up in their Russian Orlan spacesuits, ready to begin the depressurization of the Poisk airlock in advance of what is expected to be about a seven-hour spacewalk today to begin a complex series of spacewalks that will uh, outfit the newly arrived Neuka multipurpose laboratory module, the huge module that Roscosmos launched July 21st from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan and which automatically docked to the orbital outpost on July 29th. Neuka will be the focus of attention today as Novitsky and Dubrov venture outside Poisk, which is on the opposite side of where Neuka is docked for this space spacewalk to begin outfitting the new component, the new module for future operations. We'll talk more about the elements and tasks for today's spacewalk in a moment. Today's spacewalk is being uh, controlled by Russian flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov, outside of Moscow. A good view from a balcony camera overlooking the International Space Station Flight Control Room outside of Moscow, where the Russian flight controllers will be uh, watching uh, the activities of Novitsky and Dubrov as they work throughout the course of the day today outside of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Here in Houston, uh, the Orbit 2 team of flight controllers is on duty at this hour. They took a handover uh, from uh, their Orbit 1 counterparts about an hour or so ago. Today's team is led by uh, the lead flight director for this spacewalk from the U.S. perspective, Greg Whitney. He is on console at this hour, joined by spacecraft communicator Jessica Meir, the veteran astronaut, who will be uh, talking to the rest of the Expedition 65 crew when required throughout the course of the day's activities. Two ten and uh, 0 0.4 for EV-1. There are your two spacewalkers for today, Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov. Uh, they, are, again, are suited up in their Russian Orlan suits. They have just finished pre-breathing pure oxygen to cleanse the nitrogen out of their bloodstreams. That's a uh, typical uh, procedure before all so-called extravehicular activities uh, for uh, any spacewalkers venturing outside into the void of space, cleansing the... Uh, oxygen uh, cleansing the nitrogen out of their bloodstreams to prevent any condition known as the bends or decompression sickness from occurring when they step out into the vacuum of space. The depressurization of the Poisk airlock is set to begin. This will be conducted in a two-step fashion with final leak checks uh, prior to the time that Novitsky and Dubrov open up the hatch to Poisk to officially mark the start of today's spacewalk. For any Russian spacewalk, uh, the uh, elapsed time of that spacewalk is measured from hatch open to hatch close, unlike a U.S. spacewalk out of the Quest airlock, uh, whose elapsed time is measured from uh, the suits uh, being placed on battery power to the time of the start of repressurization of the airlock. So we'll be watching the clock and listening for confirmation for the official start time of today's uh, spacewalk that again will be marked uh, with the opening of the hatch to the Poisk airlock. Copy. This is the 242nd spacewalk in the history of the International Space Station in support of uh, ISS assembly, maintenance, and upgrades. The 10th spacewalk out of the uh, International Space Station this calendar year and the fifth spacewalk during Expedition 65. Novitsky and Dubrov both uh, ventured outside of the Poisk airlock uh, back on June 2nd to complete the decommissioning of the old Piers docking compartment, which eventually was uh, demated 
and uh, undocked from the space station and deorbited to burn up over the Pacific Ocean following the launch in July of the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory that took the place of peers on the uh, Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Novitsky and Dubrov uh, logged seven hours and 19 minutes during their first spacewalk, which again occurred together uh, back on uh, June 2nd. Today, uh, they venture outside again to begin uh, what is expected to be the first of up to 11 spacewalks for the outfitting of the Naoka module. We'll talk more about those activities in just a moment. Novitsky uh, will be wearing uh, the Orlon spacesuit, the Russian Orlon spacesuit, uh, bearing the red stripes as EV-1 or extravehicular crew member number one today. Uh, his helmet camera that you'll be seeing up close and personal views of the work he'll be doing outside uh, the International Space Station will bear the uh, ghostly figure of, or the number of 22 in the lower right-hand corner of your screen once we get those helmet camera views going. Uh, Pyotr Dubrov's helmet camera is number 20. They also are outfitted today on their Orlon suits with high definition cameras. All of that video being sent back to the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Koryov for Russian flight controllers to view as they uh, keep an eye on uh, activities and uh, guide the two cosmonauts along throughout the course of what is expected to be about a seven hour spacewalk today. The uh, spacewalk itself uh, is complicated. Uh, this uh, begins uh, the connection of power and data and Ethernet cables uh, that uh, begin uh, to bring the Naoka module up to life uh, following its docking back on July 29th. This is the first Russian spacewalk following Naoka's arrival at the International Space Station. It essentially connects external cabling from all four uh, main bus switching units on the U.S. segment's electrical power system to uh, reorient the Zvezda service module power converters to enable uh, Nayuka to receive power from the U.S. segment of the International Space Station. Nayuka has a total of eight power converters connected to the U.S. segment. Uh, they are called in Cyrillic SNTs. Those are simply uh, power connectors. Uh, six of those uh, convert U.S. primary power to 28 and a half volts, the same modified design as uh, the other power converters on the station. There are also two uh, direct uh, uh, DC to DC uh, converter units that convert uh, U.S. primary power that ultimately will be used to power a European robotic arm that is attached to Naoka that will be activated and outfitted uh, during subsequent spacewalks outside of the International Space Station by future cosmonauts to uh, enable a European robotic arm capability uh, for uh, scientific work and other tasks outside of the station. The crew intends to route power cables from the Poisk module to Naoka and will mate a series of eight connectors to Naoka itself. Uh, there will be uh, the main bus switching unit uh, cable reconfigurations, uh, four of them during the course of today's spacewalk as well. There are other tasks involved, including uh, the uh, routing of Ethernet cables and uh, the uh, installation of handrails uh, for translation capability for future spacewalks along uh, the Naoka module. Uh, the uh, two cosmonauts will be using the Strela boom, that's the telescoping boom that is attached to the outside of Poisk that will enable them uh, to move uh, from one work site to another throughout the course of today's activities. We have 20 millimeters per vacuum gauge. BSS. 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 BSS.
and waiting until one, two millimeters. As we mentioned a moment ago, uh, the huge uh, Naoka module, the multi-purpose laboratory module, began its journey uh, to space and its permanent home at the International Space Station, launching on July 21st on a Proton M rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. It took uh, just under 10 minutes for uh, Naoka to be separated from the upper stage of the uh, Proton M rocket, and uh, eight days later, after a thorough checkout of all of its systems, Naoka automatically moved in for its docking to the uh, Earth facing port on the Russian segment of the International Space Station, the same port that had been occupied by the pier's docking compartment, which was uh, undocked and uh, deorbited after 20 years of service at the International Space Station. You see uh, the docking here that occurred back on July. July 29th. Naoka, 43 feet long, 78 feet wide, uh, with its fully extended solar arrays, its mass about 23 and a half tons, a huge module that will serve not just as a scientific laboratory, but also as an airlock for future Russian spacewalks at the station, and uh, to which will be attached a component called a node module, the Prichal node module, that is scheduled to be launched uh, later this year a multi-hatched uh, port, if you will, a bulbous uh, component to which multiple vehicles will be able to dock, and that will be attached uh, to the uh, nadir side of the Naoka module once uh, it is launched and arrives at the station uh, in the latter part of this year. also closed. So closed, uh, indicator not eliminated, proceeding to step 10. Could you please check on the pressure? Preparations are continuing inside the Poisk module that you're looking at from an external camera on the International Space Station as Novitsky and Dubrov uh, have completed their pre-breathe activities, are in the process of depressurizing uh, Poisk down to vacuum uh, prior to the time that they will open the hatch to uh, make their way outside of Poisk and begin today's spacewalk. The uh, spacewalk, as I mentioned, uh, is primarily focused on a complicated series of electrical connections that uh, will uh, begin to route power from the U.S. segment of the station to the newly arrived Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module. We have an animation uh, narrated by Devin Bolch uh, prepared that will enable you to uh, take a better look at some of the activities uh, associated with today's work in Russian spacewalk number 49. Uh. Russian EVA 49 will be conducted by Oleg Novinsky as EV1 in the red striped suit and Pyotr Dubrov as EV2 in the blue striped suit. EV2 will egress the Mini Research Module 2 or MRM2 first and EV1 will hand out the power cable clamps and bridge rail handrail bundle. Then EV1 will egress MRM2. Then EV-1 will translate to the Strela operator post, and EV-2 will translate to the Strela end effector and stow the hardware bundle and release the Strela end effector. EV-1 will extend the boom of Strela with EV-2 on Strela to the service module. EV-2 will tether Strela end effector to the service module just above the multi-purpose laboratory module or MLM. EV-1 will translate to the connector patch panel number two on MRM2. Pyotr will install cable clamps from the bundle that the two brought out. the MLM USOS Power Cable Bundle 2 to the MLM installing the cable into the cable clamps Piotr installed. 
OLEG will then translate back to MRM2 connector patch panel number one and release it from MRM2. Piotr will mate the four connectors of MLM USOS power cable bundle two to the MLM patch panel number 16. OLEG will route MLM USOS power cable bundle number one to the MLM, installing the cable into the cable clamps Piotr had installed. Then OLEG will translate back up to the Strela operator post. Piotr will mate the four connectors of the MLM USOS power cable bundle number one to MLM patch panel number 15. Piotr will translate back to the Strela end defector and release the tether. Oleg will then maneuver Strela with Piotr attached to it and extend it to the PMA and FGB interface. Piotr will install the Strela cradle on the FGB. Oleg then translates down Strela's boom to meet up with Piotr. The two will demate the service module power cable and incorporate it with the new MLM power cable bundle number two into the US power system. Ethernet cable will be mated while the teams on the ground power up MLM cable bundle number two and the power down of the next power cable. The two will then demate the service module power cable and incorporate it with the new MLM power cable bundle number one into the US power system. Once all the connections have been made, Oleg will translate back to the Strela operator post. Piotr will release the Strela boom from the cradle. Oleg will then maneuver the Strela boom and Piotr to the SM and Piotr will tether the Strela end effector to the SM handrail. will then release the bridge rail handrail bundles from Strela and attach the bridge handrails to the MLM. Oleg will release the MLM USOS Ethernet cable and reel from MRM2 and route the cable to the MLM patch panel number 17. He will leave the reel on the Strela end effector. Oleg will then mate the MLM USOS Ethernet cable. Oleg will then translate back to the Strela operator post, and Piotr will translate to the Strela end effector and will release the Strela end effector from the service module handrail. Oleg will then maneuver the Strela boom to the MRM2, where Piotr will attach the tether to the end effector and MRM2 handrail. Then Oleg will translate to the magnetic attachment location on MRM2 and Piotr will remove the hardware from the end effector and stow it into MRM2 and retrieve the bio-risk experiment. Piotr will translate to the magnetic attachment location and attach the bio-risk experiment. The crew will then translate back to the MRM2 EBA hatch. EV1 will egress first, followed by EV2, and close the EVA hatch. This will conclude Russian EVA 49. 
and uh, the primary... Answer. This is not uh, the only uh, spacewalk that Novitsky and Dubrov will be conducting in the near term. Uh, they'll be back outside of the Preuss airlock in just six days next Thursday, September 9th, for uh, Russian spacewalk number 50, the second in the series of uh, spacewalks uh, to outfit the new Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. That spacewalk uh, next Thursday, uh, assuming everything goes as planned today, will be focusing on uh, the continuing uh, cable routing for Ethernet cables, uh, the establishment of two high-frequency cables between the Zvezda service module and Naoka's television systems, a uh, antenna and uh, CORE's automated rendezvous system feeder unit installation and uh, the installation of additional uh, handrails along uh, the uh, Naoka module, as well as platforms and adapters for future spacewalk activity. Our coverage uh, will begin uh, next Thursday, as you see on your screen, uh, with the spacewalk beginning uh, just a bit later than today's spacewalk is scheduled to begin. I have 27.2 for the battery voltage and I have backup pump, backup fan and the primary transmitter. And now... Just a few days after uh, Russian spacewalk number 50, it will be back outside of the Quest airlock for U.S. spacewalk number 77. This will be the next in the series of spacewalks uh, to install what is called a mod kit, basically a bracket on the... Um, Port Fort Truss of the International Space Station uh, to accommodate the next delivery of ISS roll-up solar arrays that is scheduled to be launched on a future SpaceX mission, the uh, third in the series of six so-called IROSA arrays. Aki Hoshide, the uh, Expedition 65 commander uh, from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, and Toma Pesquet from the European Space Agency will venture outside of the Quest airlock. The first time in history the two international astronauts will have conducted a spacewalk out of Quest. Hoshide and Pesquet uh, will spend about uh, six and a half hours outside of Quest and over at the Port Fortress to install uh, the uh, mod kit or bracket to which the next uh, series of solar arrays will be affixed on a future spacewalk following their delivery to the International Space Station. That uh, US EVA 77 uh, is scheduled for Sunday, September 12th. Copy. Now I need to change the electrical umbilical position just a little bit so it doesn't get in my way later. Copy. Now it's all right. Uh, it will not be in the way. Yes, something like this is good. Next step, fluid umbilical to the mate from Orlan. And PET timer in LCD left upper corner set to zero. And uh, O2 closed. Check on basis, yes. First, to disconnect the umbilical. Yes, just the, the sequence should be exactly correct. Okay, umbilical demated now. For EV1 and for EV2, copy. PT timer is now set to zero for both of us. Now basis in MRM2 O2 closed and the blinker. Should uh, close. Yes, 
Auto closed, I have it. And uh, the pressure, please check 0.36 for EV1 and EV2. And the primary tank pressure is more than 360. It should be, I have 404 and I have um, 390, so it's more than 360. Fluid umbilical. Put the stowage cap and cover all on fluid umbilical connector with the MLI flap. Correct. And now I have to try and reach here. I think he is reaching in the wrong way. That's why you're being pulled back. Thank you for that. I got it now. I have to reach it. Okay, stand by, please, here. Now I released uh, my umbilical. Demated. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, you're looking at a view uh, of the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow, where Russian flight controllers are uh, watching over. Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov, uh, who are moments away from beginning uh, the spacewalk today, a planned seven-hour spacewalk to begin the outfitting of the new Nayuka multipurpose laboratory module. They have placed their Orlan spacesuits on internal battery power. However, under the Russian rules uh, for spacewalk elapsed time, that is not yet the official start time. That will occur once the hatch to the Poisk module is open. We expect that momentarily. Okay, then we are done with the uh, airlock operations, and Artyom will be going to, will, will be working with you for EVA timeline, and I wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you. Okay, let me close this on my side. The GoPro camera, maybe you should reposition it. Yes, I didn't do it before because the connector was in the way. On my side, the cover is uh, opening up. Well, that's how it was designed. But you do have uh, uh, a small 
green strap there. Once uh, the hatch uh, to the Poisk module airlock is open to mark the official start of today's spacewalk, Pyotr Dubrov will be first out. He will be joined uh, then by uh, Oleg Novitsky, who will install a protective ring around the uh, circumference of the hatch itself to protect it while it is open and exposed to the void of space during today's excursion. Yes, Artyom. Hello. We are ready to work for Q card H. EV hatch open. On MCC go. Yes, Artyom. We are ready. You have a go to work for Q card H. EV hatch open on MCC go. Okay, safety tethers attached to MRM2 handrail. Copy. And visor. Yeah, so uh, low in uh, sun visor. Actually, it should be uh, night, so you can open it. All right, Alex Piotr. Go ahead. So we have checked uh, that all the hardware and uh, the tools are secured properly. Yes, we confirm uh, we secured everything during the preparation. So uh, now uh, the books are secured on the rails and uh, the bridge handrails are also secured. Copy. And also the safety tethers are secured on the uh, rails. Handrails, yes. Now let us proceed to the opening of the hatch. Uh, take uh, uh, hatch two and uh, 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 transition it to uh, the operational position. Did you copy me, Peter? Yes, I did. So we had a short LOS. Uh, we did not expect it. Now, let us start hatch opening. So the uh, leg on the hatch tool should be in the operational position. Copy. So the bolts are released until hatch stop. And also uh, the handles on, on uh, uh, the head should be in the closed position and uh, uh, the tab looking at each other directed to, towards each other. Yes, now install the head tool. It is installed. And rotate now uh, the head tool to the open position. In work, I am rotating. Maybe I should just uh, put Q card 8 away somewhere. Yes, yeah, so that uh, it's not uh, in the way. Of course, we will have to work with the hatch right now, and the Q card will be on the way. Okay. The rollers now uh, are released. Now the handle uh, should be uh, pulled until hot stop and uh, hold it at this position until the uh, pressure drops. Pressure drops fully. Copy in work. 
Nozzle is also pressed. So the pusher is uh, pulled. So what about the pressure? Is it dropping? Okay, let me uh, see. I have to turn around to do that. It is six millimeters, the pressure. Great news. So everything is going according to the plan. Five millimeters. Pressure is dropping. I'm holding the pusher handle. It is still five millimeters. Copy. I can see small specks of dust. So the air is going out. Well, you know, uh, that's how it is. We cannot do anything about it. The pressure is 4.5 millimeters. Copy. Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov uh, continuing uh, to work uh, the procedures to open the hatch to the Poisk module airlock. All of their Orlon suit systems are in good shape as they uh, prepare to exit uh, to begin today's spacewalk. The 242nd in support of ISS assembly maintenance and upgrades. Piotr, this is Moscow. Go ahead. For some reason, we have uh, unstable calm. So uh, there will be some. Uh, delays in the reports, uh, you know, and uh, in our answers. Right now, the pressure is still four millimeters as per MV. Did you copy? Could you please repeat your last, Alec? MV pressure is still four millimeters. We are standing by, and Piotr is still holding the handle of the pusher. Copy. Just moments away here from the start of uh, today's spacewalk. The hatch uh, opening still in work. The International Space Station flying 260 miles over Jakarta, Indonesia, moving from southwest and northeast. Piotr, try to pull uh, this hatch uh, towards yourself a little bit. Uh, uh, would it budge? Uh, let me try. Yes, I will try to open it. Yes, it's a go to start opening this edge. So you, the adjustable tether uh, hook, uh, your hook should be passed on to Alec. Copy, in work. It is removed. So I'm moving the hatch. Okay. 
So here is my uh, hook of my uh, tether. Yes, I'm holding it. Okay, and you will have to secure it to the um, panel to oh, one. And uh, remove this flag. Okay, so there is the housing of the oxygen hose lying around. Uh, Piotr, please stand by. Now, close it uh, a little bit right now. Yes, it is closed. Now, here is my hook of my tether. Now, give me your safety to the hook. Here it is. I got it. I'm opening now the, the hatch. Okay, I secured the hook and removed the slack. The hatch is open. Copy. So we have started the time of the EVA. Uh, you have a go to install protective ring, guys. Alex, uh, can you put uh, this cue card away? Not yet. Piotr, I cannot do this yet. All few cards have flown out. So now you should have them. Let me turn around. Maybe you can put them uh, behind the oxygen hoses. Uh, they will be holding them down. Let me try. So I got one. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, the hatch to the Poisk airlock is open. The uh, time uh, that uh, was reported uh, back to uh, the spacewalk officer here in Mission Control, Sarah Corona, was 9.41 a.m. Central Time, 10.41 a.m. Eastern Time. Russian spacewalk number 49 now officially underway. Uh, so what should we do next? The next is a go to install protective ring. Copy. I'm retrieving protective ring. Let me hold it for a while. With uh, the spacewalk uh, now officially underway, Oleg Novitsky and Piotr Dubrov uh, will uh, move outside of uh, the airlock momentarily. First uh, order of business will be to install a protective ring around the circumference of the Poisk airlock hatch to protect it uh, from any uh, micrometeoroid uh, debris during the course uh, of today's planned seven-hour spacewalk. So I will secure one here, Alec. Once again, uh, the start time for today's spacewalk measured by Russian airlock hatch opening, 9.41 a.m. Central Time, 10.41 a.m. Eastern Time, Russian spacewalks measured from hatch open to hatch close. So the tab now is uh, fully down on my side of uh, the protective ring. 
I can say it uh, quite clearly. Okay, so uh, the lanyard should not uh, be in the hatch opening. Please make sure. Well, it is a little bit uh, out. Maybe we should turn the ring a little bit. Oleg Piotr. Go ahead. This is time uh, to activate sublimator, so Piotr, do it first, and then in uh, 30 seconds Oleg will activate his sublimator. Copy, in work, so the handle is in the position 6. Sublimator is on. This is Piotr. The uh, first uh, preparatory activities uh, being reported uh, from Russian flight controllers in Korolyov at the Russian Mission Control Center for Novitsky and Dubrov uh, as they gather all of uh, the crew lock bags, as they are called, with all of their tools and equipment for uh, today's spacewalk. That includes all of the cabling uh, for the power and uh, data cables that they'll be connecting uh, between uh, the Poisk module and uh, the Nayuka multipurpose laboratory module. In all, there will be a series of eight power converters connected to uh, U.S. power systems. Warm right now, so maybe in 10 seconds uh, activate your sublimator. All right, sounds good. They uh, will be uh, connected in uh, two sets of four connectors apiece. Basically, they're called cable bundles. They will be uh, hauled uh, to the work site uh, by Novitsky and Dubrov and uh, methodically connected as uh, the electrical power systems officer here in Mission Control in Houston will watch uh, those systems, make sure that the correct routing is in place and all the inhibits are in place while the uh, two cosmonauts are working uh, to connect uh, the cables into the proper configuration. Down. Let us try to turn uh, the ring 180 degrees clockwise. Yes, let's try that. So, a clockwise, it means in, in your direction. Piotr, copy. A little bit more. You know, you inserted the lock here, and I will try to reach it uh, here, and then the lanyard won't be in the way. Well, it's not um, very good access here, unfortunately. I got the lock into the uh, opening here. Yes, I also uh, succeeded in that. And the tap should be directed uh, inside, right? Yes, towards me. Yes, that's right. Yes, I have the same situation. So we have secured protective ring, a copy. Okay, guys, did you have to apply some effort to do this, guys? Yes. Yes, but uh, now we managed and we pulled, did a pull test and it is not rotating, so it is installed properly. Piotr, you reported that your switch is in the position 5, a uh, warm code switch. You know, it's too much for the, you know, you have 13 degrees already. Yes, I switched it on until I felt uh, the cooling, but now I feel cooling. I didn't feel it at, uh, at first, 
That's why I decided to uh, set it into this position. Now it is uh, position two and one. Piotr, when you are done with that, you can start uh, exiting, egressing MRM two. Uh, so you have to attach hook of the fifth length safety tether uh, towards MRM SM, shortcuts and rail, and maybe we should first activate the light. Yes, of course, a hip light should be switched on. So will one be sufficient? Yes, I think so. Yes, I think I will be able to reach here, so uh, one will be quite sufficient. While I am here, still let me reach with my hand and activate it. Copy. Got it. The second uh, is on as well. Great. So the lights are on. And should we activate cameras right away? No, later. Once you are out, then you will activate your cameras. So I'm egressing. Okay, copy. Right, so uh, the fifth length safety tether goes first. In a couple of minutes, we might have LOS uh, for four minutes. Sounds good. So you can proceed uh, taking out uh, the bundle according to the procedure. And after that, Alec will address MRM chair. Copy. I secured the shot, the uh, tether on the uh, handrail, now uh, the adjustable tether. I secured adjustable uh, tether on the gap spanner. Copy, Piotr. I am out. I have address. Copy. I also will secure the short tether on the gap spanner. This is Piotr. Got it. Олег Петр. Олег Петр. Да. Go ahead. It's a go to activate ASTR, so please check that the control handle is in the mid position, and uh, you can operate the switch warm code manually. Running 
intelligible. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, Alec Novitsky and Piotr Dubrov in the early stages of their spacewalk today. The second spacewalk they have uh, conducted together, the first uh, being three months ago. We're looking at a view from the Russian Mission Control Center. We should be getting downlink video from outside of the International Space Station momentarily. The hatch uh, to the Poise Garlock was opened at uh, 9.41 a.m. Central Time, 10.41 a.m. Eastern Time. That's uh, when the call down came from uh, the crew uh, at the Poisk airlock. Uh, they have installed a protective ring around the airlock uh, to make sure that uh, it is pristine uh, during the course of uh, today's planned seven-hour spacewalk. And now the two uh, cosmonauts uh, are in the process of uh, removing all of their tools and equipment from the airlock itself. That includes a crew lock bag with power cable clamps and the power cables themselves along with handrails uh, as part of the initial outfitting of the electrical systems and the exterior of the newly arrived Neuka multipurpose laboratory module. Uh, it's there. Copy. to receive the bundle, Piotr? Stand by one. Got it. I'm ready to receive the uh, bundles from you. Right. Are you ready, Piotr? Piotr, did you copy? You know, there is a lot of noise, but I am ready to receive. Okay, I, I think I heard that you are ready. I didn't copy you. So the first crew lock bag with the tool, that's what I'm receiving first. Yes, that's correct, this one. So should I give you the hook? Something that I can secure my red on. Got it? Have you secured it? Yes, I have. So here is the hook. So, now remove your safety tether, Alec. Should I remove it? Yes. Go ahead. You know, uh, you are practically unintelligible, Piotr. It's very hard to copy what you say. I will try to secure. You know, it wouldn't budge, unfortunately. Now I'm, I am getting the second uh, bundle ready. I do not understand what you are saying. Me neither. I am moving towards the Strilla. Maybe we should uh, try and um, employ the backup transmitter. Yes, I will try to do that. You know, I can hear Moscow uh, quite well, but uh, I cannot hear Piotr at all. Well, try to activate the backup transmitter. 
Мы вас хорошо слышим. Backup transmitter is on at EVA 2 and the EVA 1 also on the backup transmitter. Okay, so the prime is off and the backup is on, but you know, uh, no improvement, unfortunately, on the com. Unintelligible. No, it's kind of interference that uh, seems to be permanent and constant, would not change. Okay, we continue. Yes, it's a girl. So, is it a go to continue take uh, the kits and bundles out? Uh, MCC Moscow, I am continuing my operations. I, I can hear you only poorly. I am trying to attach the crew lock back. MCC Moscow, how do you copy? Uh, uh, we're not going to be uh, talking that much uh, anymore, so we need a person who's going to relay that information. And um, we are not able to hear our tell either. I like your uh, barely uh, uh, intelligible. Uh, I I don't understand what you're saying. Do you understand me? What I I hear you pretty well. I hear. Uh, uh, you pretty well, but all uh, it's just overlapping uh, noise and interferences. Our chum is uh, trying to do the setup, so I'm going to um, wait for him. Okay, copy. Go. No noise. Okay, that is now beautiful sound, uh, Peter. Where Peter? Now I can read you pretty well. Right now. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, our first view of the cosmonauts outside of the uh, Poisk airlock as they uh, begin uh, to set up uh, their equipment, uh, moving towards the uh, Strela operator's post. The Strela is the telescoping boom that you see extending downward at the bottom of your screen uh, that will be used uh, to uh, transport uh, Pyotr Dubrov and Oleg Novitsky uh, down to the multi-purpose laboratory module later in the uh, spacewalk today for the uh, beginning of the uh procedure to mate eight power connectors that uh, will begin to route power from the U.S. segment power systems on the International Space Station to the newly arrived Naoka module. Not the great country. We were looking at the option yesterday so for all of you give me the crew bag and I was going to uh, quickly attach it to the Hendrio and then he was going to give me a bridge Hendrio which is going to be a complicated task to secure them. Then all I can translate to the operator post, and I would be uh, working with the kids here. I think it makes sense to uh, switch to the prime transmitter, or are we going to work with the backup transmitter for now? Well, let's switch to the um, uh, prime. Artem, what do you think? Or do you think it's going to be bad? Uh, well, right now it's quiet. Could you repeat your last? Artem, are we going to switch to the prime transmitter? We're about working with the backup transmitters. Uh, 
This is uh, let, let's uh, ask Gennady about it. Hey, why is it uh, secured only with one hook? I am holding on to the hook. Alec Nowitzki at the bottom of your screen wearing the Orlon suit bearing the red stripes. Uh, Piotr Dubrov uh, that you will see here momentarily uh, is wearing uh, the suit bearing the blue stripes. Nowitzki is EV-1 or extravehicular crew member number one. Dubrov is EV-2 as they conduct their work outside of the International Space Station hooking up uh, power and ethernet cables to connect the Nayuka multipurpose laboratory module in this the first of up to 11 spacewalks that cosmonauts will conduct to fully activate Naoka over the period of the next several months. Our specialists are saying and there is a good view of uh, Dubrov uh, with the suit with the blue stripes. This is the second spacewalk for both Novitsky and Dubrov. They logged uh, seven hours and 19 minutes of spacewalking time outside of the station back on June 2nd uh, in the final decommission of the piers docking compartment that ultimately was uh, undocked and deorbited, burning up in the Earth's atmosphere to make way on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment for the arrival of Nayuka, which docked to that same port that piers had occupied for two decades. Nayuka docked uh, to the station automatically on July 29th. Where? Hold on one second. The International Space Station now in an orbital sunrise over the northern Pacific Ocean, about to begin a swing from northwest to southeast that will take uh, the complex and its uh, seven crew members, including our two spacewalkers for today, just north of San Francisco. Got it? Yes, I got it. I am going to uh, disengage my hook. Okay, Slappy. Hold, uh, hold the hook. Okay, that's it, I got it. I am going to try to maneuver them out. Novitsky and Dubrov are, are uh, carrying uh, two crew lock bags that uh, contain uh, cable clamps and the cable reels to which the power converter cables and the Ethernet cables are uh, mounted on. And that uh, will be uh, the source of uh, most of the work for the day once they arrive at the work site at the various locations. Uh, the first uh, order of business in today's activity will be uh, to route uh, power cables from the Poisk module to the Naoka module, and then uh, they'll mate a series of eight connectors to Naoka. I have... I uh, translated to the side of, uh, of the operator post. Yes, please do not. Do not move too far away and activate the cameras and then you can translate. Maybe I'm going um, to activate them right now. Yes, you can go ahead and do it. One is on. I'm also ready to start turning cameras on. Copy. And to Moscow, should I start? Yes, go ahead. Do you need our help, uh, Peter, or do you think you'll be able to manage on your own? I'm turning on cameras. They're not too complicated. Uh, low definition uh, camera is on. The LED is on. High definition camera is also on. 
Clapping. Oh, you also have uh well, my uh only for always only the low definition camera is on, the high def camera is not on yet. Copy. Yes, I confirm it's on, the LED is on. I'm ready uh, to egress MRM2. Make sure you secure uh, yourself with the hooks of the um, non-retractable non tethers. Okay, copy. And translate to the in the direction of the operator post. Copy. My uh, non receptable tether hook is security uh, handrail 60 to 7. Copy. Non-retractable non tether, uh, non tether is also uh, secured. Copy. I have uh, secured uh, the curl bag on the uh, uh, I, I use the tether and hook, and I also wrap uh, white tape around the handrail. Uh, also, the same tape is wrapped around the handrail is the first uh, attach point, and, and it's uh, secured to the last uh, hook of the um, uh, Almost 31 minutes into uh, the spacewalk, uh, Novitsky and Dubrov working uh, to uh, connect their uh, crew lock bag uh, with uh, most of the uh, cable reels and the cables themselves for the power with the power connectors uh, to the Strela boom that is uh, mounted on the side of the Poisk module. The airlock uh, from which they emerged a short time ago is on the opposite side of the view of Poisk uh, that you see at the bottom of your screen. The uh, crew lock bags uh, will be temporarily uh, housed on a uh, mounting post on the Strela boom, this telescoping boom that the cosmonauts use to uh, maneuver themselves back and forth from one work site to another. There's another bundle of equipment uh, that uh, is equipped with handrails uh, that will be uh, attached to the Nauka multi purpose laboratory module later on in uh, today's spacewalk that is expected to last about seven hours in duration. Uh, we're talking about. Once uh, the uh, Strela boom is uh, properly configured with all of the equipment, the uh, two cosmonauts uh, will begin uh, to make their way to a patch panel on uh, the Poisk module. That's where the initial uh, work uh, to begin uh, connecting the power cables will take place over the course of the next couple of hours. I secured one uh, hook to the non-retractable tether. The second hook I have secured to the ATV. I did it secure it to the middle ring, to the upper ring. I am going to translate to the PDGF. First, um, EVA-1 is at the operator post. Copy. Uh, the non-retractable uh, tether is 
located is secured uh, to this trailer itself uh, to the yaw control handle. And the retractable tether is on the circular handrail. Copy. Well, right now you can actually uh, switch uh, the retractable tether uh, to the other side. Oh, you're working with the cable. Well, we're still waiting. The International Space Station is flying over southwestern New Mexico at this hour. As you see, uh, Oleg Novitsky uh, wearing the Orlon suit with the red stripes at the top of the Strela boom at what is known as the operator's post. This uh, essentially is equipped with a crank handle that enables uh, the Strela boom, Strela, the Russian word for arrow, uh, to uh, be extended to its full duration of almost 60 feet in length that the cosmonauts use to move back and forth from one work site to another during their spacewalks. They are uh, temporarily attaching all of their equipment uh, to the Strela boom uh, before they uh, begin work uh, to open up a uh, connector patch panel on the Poisk module at the very outset of uh, the work that will unfold over the next several hours to connect uh, power and Ethernet cables linking up uh, the Poisk module to the Neuka multipurpose laboratory module. Alex, go ahead. Are you currently uh, uh, looking at the set two cable? Looking at the set two cable? Yes, first set two. It's facing uh, me. I'm looking at the uh, reel. So do you understand the translation path uh, to the uh, path two? Well, I'm trying to plan. Grapple fixture is released. So you can start uh, lifting this trailer. Okay. Copy. Peter, uh, Peter do you see uh, Hendro 21-23? No, it's uh, slightly obscured from this side. Maybe when we lift up a little bit, we'll see. I am ready to lift. Go ahead and start. There is some sort of a hook and it's in the way. Uh, Peter, can you, do you see well? Uh, is everything okay? There was a short calm drop out. Uh, Tom, do you see the video from our cameras? We're setting it up for now. Uh, we're not receiving the video yet. We're receiving the video from the trust. Oh, so if the antenna can fit through here, yes, it should be sufficient for the antenna. I have uh, secured the uh, handle. I am moving on to the handle for uh, the straw extension. 2123, is it where the um, uh, cable holder is located? The one uh, where we're going to use to route the Ethernet cable through. Yes, that is correct. Okay, I'm starting to extend this trailer. Copying. Copy. Uh, started.
She is Virginia. She is Virginia. Uh, we put it for motion. Copy. We're going slightly past the um, handrail 2123 in the direction of the service module. We're going to... You, you just need to get in that area, into that zone. You do not need to aim specifically for the 2123 handrail. Okay, copy. I think it is sufficient. I secured the uh, handrail for the show extension. Copy. Some, there is something behind me, some structure. Uh, solar ray is behind you. Uh, do you see it? Yes, I see it. Should I lower it? I am ready. Copy. I'm lowering it. Do you see um, that the SO is not uh, approaching the solar array? We're starting receiving uh, camera videos. This SPU is not touching the antenna, but it's getting uh, very close uh, to the target. But it should fit. Well, it got even closer to the target. Now, Shoa is uh, flexing a little. It's oscillating. Uh, the second antenna. There is a target here as well. So you can lower it a little bit. No, the target is a little bit farther away, so we didn't get as far as the target. So you can lower. You need to move uh, to the left a little bit. Uh, to the service module? Yes, to the service module. I have secured it. I won't be able to reach it. I am ready to move the move you in the direction of the service module. I'm ready for motion. I confirm motion. I have secured it. What else do I need to do? I need to move me down. I confirm down. I have started motion down and stopped here. I think it's enough. It's sufficient. Uh, the handle is secured. Copy. Copy. I am going to move to the attachment plate number two. Yes, move to the attachment plate uh, number two. Alex. And the handrails we can use are only on the FGB side at this time, correct? You can translate over the uh, cargo uh, boom and uh, use the handrails. So when we're routing cables uh, along the radio handrails of the FGB toward the PFO. Yes, correct. And you will need to route it along the FGB. So I have uh, secured the grapple fixture on the handrail 2123. This is where uh, we're going to be able to secure it when we come back from the FGB. There is sufficient distance. 
And I'm going to perform translation to uh, attach the cable holders. Copy. Tom, can we use the tether that is here between this trailer? Uh, no. Okay, copy. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, this helmet camera view from Pyotr Dubrov, who's extravehicular crew member number two on today's spacewalk, along with Oleg Novitsky, as they are making their way uh, around uh, the uh, area of the work site uh, to set up shop uh, at the connector patch panel on the uh, Poisk module. That will be the first uh, order of business for them to open up uh, that patch panel, open up a, a thermal covering on the connector patch panel and begin to uh, unreal a uh, length of uh, cable that uh, houses the power connectors uh, for the start of the connection of uh, the connector uh, points between the Poisk module and the uh, Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. This is uh, the first in what is expected to be a series of 11 spacewalks to outfit and activate Naoka. The uh, next spacewalk planned for September 9th uh, will uh, jointly connect uh, the television systems between the Zvezda service module and Naoka and uh, the activation of Naoka's television systems, also connecting uh, a CORS automated rendezvous sy system cable uh, to an antenna on Naoka to uh, further enable its capability for the arrival of future uh, vehicles uh, that will dock to a node module at the Nader port of Naoka. There will be additional spacewalks uh, to begin uh, the work to initialize uh, the European robotic arm that uh, was launched on Naoka uh, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome back on July 21st. And then a series of uh, spacewalks associated with the configuration of that robotic arm for its operation, a control test of that arm, the transfer of a radiator from the Rosviet module to the Naoka module using the European robotic arm, and uh, the deployment of a radiator that will be attached to, to Naoka to provide cooling for the module over the long term of its existence. True, true. Are you seeing the labeling on the uh, service module handrail? I see some, uh, see right now a handrail number 2112. I think this is um, the uh, cable holders are shaped as uh, handcuffs are installed here. Uh, we will need the handrail 2122, yes, exactly. I confirm. We need to install the cable holders on these handrails for labeling. On the handrail 2122. Good view of Oleg Novitsky, veteran Russian cosmonaut, as he is uh, working right outside of the Poisk module, beginning the work to route a power cable bundle uh, towards cable clamps that are on handrails uh, from Poisk uh, to the uh, Naoka multi purpose laboratory module. I have translated to the plate. Okay, I understand. Copy all of That's what I meant, that uh, number 12 is closer. Yes, uh, Peter. On uh, handle number 12, there should be a MLM antenna. So accordingly, you will need to understand where you should be installing it, where it's more convenient to install it. 
Антенна МЛМ. МЛМ. Антенна on Hendro number 12. Not far from it. It should be in the folded configuration. Yes, I see the antenna. So, so it might interfere uh, with uh, some of the dimensions there. I think the distance is considerable. There should not be any problems. I'll uh, start uh, releasing uh, the cable bundle number two. You need to secure it uh, first. Okay, copy. I'm just wondering where is... Where um, are the attachment points here? Yes, I am observing that. Okay, it looks like these are not the right rings. Okay. Handrail. Um, 2112 uh, attaching this. And then tilting it toward the MLM. That's correct. So the attaching, uh, we need to attach the rings, is that correct? Yes, that is correct, because then the coil we will um, un unreal, and you will need these available. Okay, I have attached it using two soft rings because otherwise the tethers are coiled around the plate. We copy. The handrail is a little bent, and I do have a gap of about three centimeters here, so I can't do it immediately adjacent. No, that's not a problem. That's fine. The ring itself is very close to the antenna. We have a little bit of distance if we turn it. So the cable head, you can lift it a little bit. Yes, that's what I meant. If I rotate it a little bit, it should be okay. So I think you need to... Orient the attachment point at the time when we pull the cable. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Pulling the cable slightly. We copy. I have unlocked. Okay, rotate half a turn, Peter. Okay, Oleg, we copied. I think that this way is neater. 
Yes, I am observing the fact that your cable is all um, loosened up. No, it's just the way that it was set up to begin with. seem to have gathered it all. Copy your leg. It's warm here. Yes, even for me. I've set it to the cold setting, but I can't say that I'm sensing it right now, so far. This is Mission Control Houston approaching the one hour mark in uh, today's spacewalk by Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov as uh, we watch uh, the two cosmonauts from their helmet cameras uh, setting up their equipment along uh, the Poisk module, that equipment uh, containing bags of uh, power cables and cable connector equipment that uh, will be used to route power cables from uh, the Poisk module to the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module. Uh, there will be eight connectors and all two different bundles of connectors uh, that the two cosmonauts will work their way through one by one, four connectors apiece, to uh, provide electrical continuity uh, between uh, the newly arrived Naoka module and the U.S. segment power systems. Go ahead. I have a question. The cable clamp that's already installed on Hendra L2122, are we supposed to pull, pull it through that? Correct. That's why you need to install the cable clamps closer to the FGB. 
The uh, two cosmonauts are in the process of completing uh, the routing and installation of cable clamps through which uh, the cables will be properly routed uh, in the uh, geometry uh, between the Poisk module and the uh, Nauka module. The requirement is no less than five fifty uh, fifty than five centimeters. So fifteen should be okay. Yes, definitely we will have the clearance of at least five centimeters, especially if I turn it here. From the cameras, can you see how it is installed? Computer. Every now and then we get the video with interruptions. Uh, from my end, it looks very good. Okay, copy that. I will continue with the installation. Copy. Well, like, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I am moving toward Peter steadily. What I need to do still is to release the cables from this clamp. Although I can move it toward Peter first, the cable clamp, then release it. Let me take a look and then move there. I have installed the second cable clamp. Copy, Peter. You have our go to install the cable clamps on the MLM. We have the T handle. Um, number 4009 and 4010. We copy that. Can I? This is Mission Control Houston, one hour, one minute into uh, today's spacewalk. Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov working uh, per the timeline as uh, they install uh, cable clamps in uh, the routing path uh, between the Poisk module and the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module to which uh, power cables and ethernet cables will be routed and played out. Uh, ultimately uh, to provide power continuity between the U.S. Uh, segment power systems and the newly arrived Naoka module. Today's spacewalk, the fifth for Expedition 65, the tenth out of the International Space Station this year, to be followed next Thursday by another spacewalk by Novitsky and Dubrov to uh, continue uh, the work for the outfitting of the new Naoka module. And then yet another spacewalk a week from Sunday on September 12th, by Station Commander Aki Hoshide and uh, Thomas Pesquet out of the Quest airlock of the station to install uh, the next bracket or mod kit, as it is known, uh, on the uh, Port 4 truss segment of the International Space Station that will set the stage for the arrival and installation of the third in a series of six ISS rollout solar arrays to be launched to the station on a future SpaceX cargo mission. There is some sort of structure here. I don't know if you can see that, what this is. Some sort of item. Yes, it's a valve. Okay. So if I tilt it this way, then it will be very close here. Well, it's important for us to ensure that we have a sufficient clearance between cables. Other than that, that should be okay. Okay, got it. Oh, 
Обычно оттягивают в сторону. Handrails. Going to the side. And then just to be extra secure, um, maybe this safety, a short safety tether. Okay, I have uh, put it inside the cable clamp. I can't see the number of the handrail. It should be 2112. Probably. That cable is not secured by anything else. That's that's your way to secure it. Well, it's still attached to the other clamp as well, but it's very close, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that right now. Okay, we copy. I've installed the clamp on handrail 4009. It's very close. The cable is very close to this valve here. That's okay. Maybe you should try to tr tighten it by hand so that we leave it in the appropriate position. Yes, I'll tighten it a little bit. Thank you. This is Mission Control Houston, one hour, seven minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. Oleg Novitsky and uh, Pyotr Dubrov continuing to install cable clamps as uh, they prepare to uh, begin the work to uh, unfurl power cables from their crew lock bags, their equipment bags, that will set the stage uh, for the start of the mating of connectors uh, for those power cables uh, between the Poisk module and U.S. power cables on the uh, U.S. Uh, segment of the International Space Station that will then, in turn, route power to the newly uh, arrived Neuka Multipurpose Laboratory Module. Get the wrench. A spectacular view of the South Atlantic uh, from one of the cosmonauts' uh, high-definition cameras. This actually coming from uh, Pyotr Dubrov's high-definition helmet camera. At least 30. A good view of the Soyuz MS-18 spacecraft attached uh, to the Rosviet module on the Russian segment of the station. Okay. As uh, the International Space Station uh, begins to fly uh, just uh, 
to the south of Africa on a track that will take it from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. Uh, put the cable, no, for this cable, it's um, 4010. Uh, for this one, correct. Okay, well then I'll just wait. I have a little bit of time to take a breather. Yes, Oleg, you can use this time to take a closer look at the condition of the cable and the connector. And then get one. This is a difficult place on handrail 1500. Okay. Yes, I'm looking right now. When I go back, I'll take a closer look to make sure that the cable is not interfering. Sounds good. Cable and the connectors. What is their condition? Do they look good? Yes, the cable looks good. It's soft. The connectors are capped. Can you see the decals? Yes, I can read it. I can see half a pair, 16-2, 16-4. Okay. Okay, I have tightened it using the ratchet wrench. Okay, I think I can move it a little bit. Better. You know, um, I think leave what's good enough, good enough. Now, tell me about what you think about the wrench. Do you want to put it? I think I want to put it back in the crew lock bag. Okay. Right now, I am using the same hook that I used before, and it's on the large red, secured, okay, the large hook, that's yours, right? Yes, that's the one that I had for the tools. Okay, we copy that. Like you can uh, put away the wrench and attach the tether to 4010. Got it. In five minutes, we, um, we, we're going to go dark, okay? We copy. Okay, I don't think I should have brought the wrench. Okay, I have moved the clamp 
behind handrail 4010. We copy that and attach the wrench. Can you compress the clamp a little more so that the cable is uh, tight? Okay, so you want me to do more of this so that it doesn't dangle here. Yes, just don't overdo it. But we don't need the slack in this area. Okay, I have uh, tightened it as much as I could. It really doesn't have much slack here, but also not too tight, not too taut. Okay, we copy that. Oleg. Yes. Look at the switch of the main pump, please. Okay, yeah, it's on. Okay. Please uh, switch off the main valve to the backup. Okay, I've done that. Thank you. Artyom, maybe I should leave this coil here. It's um, it's got clamps. It's not going anywhere. Uh, yes. Sure. Let's not waste our time with this. Okay. So I've put away the wrench into the crew leg block bag. Now I see the cable coil. I see plate 16. All right. Do you want to grab it now? Let me turn. I see this, and I'm taking this. Better. Yes, go ahead. Can you assess whether we will have a lot of slack in the cable? Yeah, I think uh, it's going to be pretty significant. Okay. You know, on the second thought, uh, it won't be a lot of lack. 30, 50, maybe, in order to approximately. So, so you will secure uh, uh, the clamp to, to uh, the handrail 4019, or will you make connectors? What will you do first? I think I will make connectors first. And then uh, I will understand whether you will need, I will need the clamp, or maybe just wire tie will be sufficient. Copy. In one minute, uh, you will uh, enter into the eclipse. Copy. This is Mission Control Houston, one hour, 17 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov working in tandem uh, near the uh, multi-purpose laboratory module, having uh, laid out all of their equipment and installed cable clamps through which uh, a series of power cables and Ethernet cables will be strung throughout the course of uh, today's spacewalk. They are approaching the point in uh, today's timeline where, where they will begin to make uh, the first quartet of connectors uh, between the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module and uh, U.S. power cable bundle systems on the U.S. segment of the International Space Station that are routed through the Zarya module, uh, which uh, is connected, uh, the connecting point basically, between the U.S. and Russian segments.
There are two uh, separate cable bundles of uh, power connectors, four connectors apiece that need to be mated by Novitsky and Dubrov uh, to begin uh, the process of enabling uh, power continuity to exist uh, between Naoka and uh, the rest of the International Space Station. Naoka, which was launched back on July 21st and which automatically docked to the station on July 29th, uh, will provide a variety of uh, support capability uh, for uh, the Russian segment of the station, including a uh, science laboratory, a new airlock from which Russian spacewalks can be conducted. It uh, will serve uh, as uh, the home for the node module called Prichal, uh, which will be launched later this year to dock to the Nader port of Naoka, that is a multi-hatched uh, bulbous module, if you will, to accommodate multiple vehicles that can dock to the Russian segment of the station. It uh, will also uh, provide the capability for the operation of a new R European robotic arm that the European Space Agency outfitted on Naoka during its processing phase. It uh, will provide an additional crew quarters, an additional toilet, an oxygen generation system, and a deployable radiator that is currently stowed on the Rosviet module, but which will be transferred to Naoka during a later spacewalk in this series of up to 11 excursions by Russian cosmonauts to fully the outfit, uh, the new Naoka module. Are, uh, located on uh, the side of the handrail. Maybe one end uh, can be pushed behind the handrail, Pyotr. Well, you know, I would like to divide those two valves. Of course, uh, there is a gap center in, in the middle. You know, uh, I have received recommendations uh, from the specialists that if uh, the lighting conditions are not uh, sufficient, you can activate uh, Orlan light. Well, you know, it's not uh, that important right now, but when I move closer to the uh, panel, patch panel, then I might uh, activate Orlan light. Copy, Alex. I can see the page panel number 16 and connectors on it. I think I will start with cleaning the connectors. Piotr, these ties, they should be removed. Copy. Well, but it's not very easy to, to remove them here. It's a hard task. So I activated Orlan lights. Uh, this is Oleg. Copy Oleg. Artem, and these thrusters are behind the handrails 4021, 4022, correct? Come again, Piotr. What? No, no. Uh, they are to the left of me, these thrusters. Of course, uh, this is the area where I should not move in. Yes. Yes, they are uh, actually behind the frame.
Петр. This is Артем. Go ahead, Moscow. У меня предложение. I have a suggestion. Remove all ties from the connectors on the patch panel and then continue working. Well, that's exactly what I'm doing. I will try to make a 180 degrees turn so that it will be more uh, convenient for me because it is more convenient when the handrail is on top of me. And then I will um, secure my tether to it. This is Alec. I have reached the uh, patch panel number two with the cable number one. Uh, the, there is a very big loop here. Well, you've already uh, have some experience, Oleg, with that. Yes. I have experience, but I do not understand which cable uh, will cross crisscross the Ethernet cable, because they are all in a bundle. Maybe from this handrail you can cut, uh, you know, on a MRM both cables, and uh, the Ethernet cable and the other one. To tell the truth, I cannot see very clearly from here how these cables are routed further on and where they will be crisscrossing. I will try to make the bundle a little bit smaller so that I will be able to uh, draw, draw it through the cables somewhere. Yes, uh, we think it's a good idea. And uh, the covers from the connectors also should be put into the bag, right? They are not secured with ties. The steps, let me see. It's hard to say because I cannot see very well here. I think there are no ties on the cap. No, they are not tied. I will start removing uh, them right now, and uh, then I will see better. Copy, Piotr. This is Mission Control Houston approaching the 90-minute mark into uh, today's spacewalk. As uh, Novitsky and Dubrov uh, familiarize themselves with the connector patch panel on the uh, POISC module of the International Space Station, this will begin uh, the process of connecting uh, power cable bundles uh, from um, the uh, newly arrived Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. to uh, the U.S. Uh, power systems uh, through the Zarya module of the International Space Station that connects the U.S. and Russian segments of the complex. There are two such power bundles, each one uh, connecting uh, four separate connectors for a total of eight power connectors. That will be followed later in today's spacewalk by the mating of Ethernet connectors as well. Yes, uh, there should be a cable clamp, but it 
uh, has to be rerouted. Of course, it is uh, directed towards MRM2, but it should be directed towards MLM. A copy. Which, you know, there is a wire tie on 1502 in, it is, that is installed there. Yes, um, I apologize. You're right. It's a wire tie there. So should I just leave it there for a while? The, I mean, Ethernet cable? Yes. And we are taking number one. I understand, but I don't want to uh, get into trouble when I will uh, start dealing with this crisscrossing of cables. If you think that you will anti-wire tie and you will have more slack and it will be more convenient for you, then you can do it right now. Because the Ethernet cable is going between the two cable clamps uh, on FGB and then goes to the wire tie on the handrail 1502. So I will untie it here and will route it between the cables number one and number two. Copy, Oleg. You know, it's very hard to see it uh, on the picture. Uh, yes, it is a slack uh, that we will need uh, to use, so to say, to, to release and uh, somebody had tied it. You know, I confirm that the caps uh, are not tied and it is not easy to secure them before you remove them even. Well, that's not good news. Может быть, maybe some hardware, uh, you know, that uh, is secured with a tether can be put into the uh, the bag. You know, I, I have just two caps left, and I will stow them there, all, all of them uh, at once. All right, sounds good. Ну ты смотри, может быть тебе отключить орлановские светильники все-таки. Петр, maybe you should deactivate Orlan light. I did not uh, switch Олег, them on. Uh, Олег, who did it? Okay, the uh, voltage is 26 and 9, and uh, uh, for me it is 26 and 8. This is Петр. I did not activate Orlan's lights. This is Петр. I understand. Ah, no, actually the lightning conditions are quite sufficient for me, this is Piotr. I don't need the Orlando light. Well, you, you can try, you know, and uh, just uh, evaluate uh, whether it is better or not. Well, of course it is better, I mean the visibility is better, but without them it's, it's also fine.
This is Mission Control Houston, one hour, 32 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. Pyotr Dubrov uh, has installed power cable clamps on uh, the Zvezda service module, and now uh, we'll begin the process of mating connectors uh, between the uh, power cable bundle number two, as it is known, that uh, is a uh, cable bundle that uh, is associated with Naoka and U.S. power segment uh, electric path uh, that uh, will be mated uh, to a Naoka connector patch panel that you have been looking at that's at the top of your screen here. The first of two such uh, bundles of power cables, eight cables in all, eight connectors to be mated to begin the process of uh, providing power connectivity uh, to the newly arrived Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. They will just uh, uh, get loose and fly away. You know, it's not very uh, good access here. So, but I will try not to make haste, and uh, I will do it. Uh, I will take my time with this step. Uh, you know, what about gap center? This is Alec. Uh, well, the gap center can be used for uh, tethering uh, a few tethers. Okay, copy. Yes, you know, I cannot reach uh, here very well. This is Piotr. I will have to remove the caps without securing them. Uh, and, and, you know, and then put them into the trash bag right away. Well, maybe Alex can help you, Piotr, if he comes closer and you will do it together. You know, I put it into the the bag and it didn't get inside. But Piotr, let us wait for Alec and he will hold a trash bag for you and uh, you will show the cap in it. And right now you can just take a breather or do something else. Yes, I need to take a breather, I think. Yes, Piotr, don't make haste. And uh, when you are fine, when you feel fine, then you will resume working. All right. I caught, I managed to catch uh, the cap that flew away. I will try to secure it well, this good news, copy. And I will put it away right away. Yes, I managed to put it into the trash bag. Copy, Piotr. Good news. I can uh, retether the crew lock bag to another handrail, and then on my way back I will retrieve it from here. Yes, uh, of course it's a go. Good view of uh, Pyotr Dubrov as he uh, begins uh, to uh, work in the mating of the first 
four of eight power connectors, power cables basically, from the Poisk module to the uh, Naoka module, a total of eight power uh, cables to be connected uh, to provide uh, electrical continuity between the U.S. segment of the station and uh, the newly arrived Naoka module. Ethernet cables also to be routed uh, during the course of today's spacewalk. Handrails to be installed in this first of 11 such spacewalks uh, over the next several months to fully outfit and activate uh, Naoka as a uh, module that will accommodate science activities to be used as a uh, multi-port docking uh, destination for Russian vehicles and uh, to serve uh, as a second airlock from which Russian spacewalks can be conducted. Today's spacewalk uh, began uh, with the opening of the hatch to the uh, Poisk module airlock at 9.41 a.m. Central Time, 10.41 Eastern. Usually, uh, Russian spacewalks uh, get underway a bit earlier than that. Today's spacewalk was timed out uh, to match uh, daylight and dark uh, passes over the course of the Earth, as well as communications capability. Uh, with the uh, International Space Station. There is no formula for when a spacewalk needs to begin necessarily. Today's spacewalk uh, is slated uh, to last about seven hours in duration. On this cable, the caps are secured. Piotr, could you please come again? We didn't get your last. On this cable, the caps are secured, are tied. Yes, uh, it's very important uh, information. Thank you. Okay, so 16.4. I'm starting the mating uh, of the connectors. Copy, Piotr. Try to give a running commentary and wait until my country... The uh, Russian flight controllers of the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov outside Moscow uh, instructing Piotr Dubrov uh, to provide a running commentary as he uh, begins work to uh, mate this first uh, series of four power connectors uh, between the Poisk module and the uh, Nayuka multipurpose laboratory module that arrived at the space station back on July 29th. I understand we cannot use the adjustable tether in the work zone. No, we cannot use adjustable there. And just a reminder, uh, this is, again, uh, the first of a trio of spacewalks to be conducted over the next nine days. Next up on uh, Thursday, 
September 9th, Novitsky and Dubrov will be back outside of the uh, International Space Station in the second in the series of Naoka outfitting excursions. Uh, they will be uh, working to install a, a cable, uh, another Ethernet cable device. Uh, they'll be installing two high-frequency cables uh, between the Zvezda service module and uh, the uh, Naoka to provide uh, a TV capability from the newly arrived module. They'll also uh, be uh, installing a cable uh, between the uh, Zvezda service module's CORE's automated rendezvous system and uh, the Naoka CORE's antenna feeder unit, as it is called. That uh, will provide an automated rendezvous capability as a docking port for Naoka for future Russian vehicles arriving at the International Space Station. They'll be installing uh, another handrail and uh, they'll be installing installing a platform with adapters uh, that uh, will be used uh, to house future cosmonauts at various work sites in that area around uh, the new multi-purpose laboratory module. And on uh, Sunday, September 12th, Station Commander Aki Hoshide from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and Toma Pesquet of the European Space Agency will venture outside the Quest airlock on the U.S. segment of the station to install a bracket known as a mod kit on the P-4 or Port 4 truss of the International Space Station to which uh, the third in the series of six IROSA or ISS rollout solar arrays will be attached once uh, that new array Ray is delivered to the space station on a future SpaceX cargo flight. Copy. The connectors are mated. So, inaudible is closed. Copy. Dubrov uh, now reporting the first of these four connectors has been mated. You know, I think I snagged at uh, something here. This is Alec. All right. This uh, connector 16-4 is mated and showed. Copy, Piotr. Alec, something is in the way of your translation, right? Yes, I think something is snagging at my bag. Back. Uh, this is Piotr. Can we remove uh, this hot pin? Well, Oleg, you might. Uh, you might be with uh, your back to the MRM too, or maybe you think it is some uh, attached hardware. You know, I can see my back, not see my back, actually. I cannot tell. Piotr, you started saying something? I have a question. Can we use, can we leave or keep uh, this size uh, on the uh, Lira, Lira connectors? Did you copy my question, Moscow? Piotr, we had a short LOS. 
If this loop are secured there, then you can keep them as is, for they will be closed with MLI flap. So I think it will be fine. All right, copy that. As uh, Piotr Dubrov works uh, to mate uh, the four connectors, the first uh, cable bundle series of connectors uh, between uh, the Poisk module and the Nayoka module, uh, we are uh, going to be uh, passing out of range of the tracking and data relay satellite system for downlink video capability for about a 10-minute period uh, before we regain uh, that communications capability uh, with the next uh, satellite on our TDRIS uh, network. We will uh, continue, however, to uh, be able to uh, hear uh, discussions uh, between the Russian cosmonauts and flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov. Everything uh, proceeding just about on the timeline for today's spacewalk, now one hour and 48 minutes in duration. Олег, Петр, how do you copy me? This is Moscow. Олег, Петр, how do you copy? Yes, sir, Tom. We copy you. Well, let us try to do something in, inaudible to communicate better. I have located 16-3 on the patch panel and on the cable as well, the same connector, and I'm starting mating those. And I'm trying to figure out uh, what to do with cable number one and Ethernet cable. In uh, three minutes, uh, we'll, you will leave equip, Eclipse and will enter the daytime. Maybe you should wait until it is uh, really uh, good visibility. Uh, yes, we copy in about two and a half or three minutes, uh, the eclipse will be over. For those uh, just joining, uh, Alec Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov, uh, the two Russian cosmonauts who are part of the Expedition 65 crew working outside of the uh, Naoka multipurpose laboratory module in the process of hooking up power connectors uh, between the Poisk module and Naoka eight such power connectors uh, to be mated uh, to begin the process of providing electrical continuity for the new module that arrived at the International Space Station five weeks ago. This is the first uh, of a series of what is anticipated to be up to 11 spacewalks by Russian cosmonauts to fully outfit Naoka for future operations. This new module to serve a variety of functions as a uh, laboratory primarily, but also as a multi-port uh, docking uh, destination for Russian vehicles, an airlock for future Russian spacewalks to be conducted uh, to uh, be used in tandem with the Poisk module airlock on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the station from which Novitsky and Dubrov emerged earlier today, almost two hours ago, to begin their excursion for the day today. Back. It also houses a uh, European robotic arm uh, that will be outfitted on subsequent spacewalks and activated uh, to be used uh, for external science operations as well as uh, to move uh, equipment and uh, payloads around the Russian segment of the uh, complex. Naoka houses an additional crew quarters, an additional toilet, an additional electron oxygen generation system, and it has a deployable radiator that is currently stowed on the Rosviet module, but which will be removed and reattached to Naoka on a subsequent spacewalk to, to provide cooling capability for this huge module that is 43 feet in length and almost 23, almost 24 and a half tons in mass. The eclipse is about to be over. 
Oh, we're going to have a brief video um, drop out. The rest of the comment is inaudible. Copy. There will be a brief calm dropout. Copy. This is the uh, 242nd spacewalk in support of Space Station uh, Assembly Maintenance and Upgrades, the 10th conducted out of the International Space Station this year. Here's an excellent view of uh, Piotr Dubrov, extravehicular crew member number two for the day, wearing the Orlon suit, bearing the blue stripes. Novitsky is EV-1, or extravehicular crew member number one, wearing the Orlon suit with the red stripes today, as he did uh, when he and Dubrov uh, conducted a seven-hour, 19-minute spacewalk back on June 2nd that was designed to complete the decommissioning of the older uh, Piers docking compartment that had uh, served uh, as an airlock and docking port at the station uh, for the past 20 years, but which was replaced by Nayuka. Piers uh, was undocked from the station prior to Nayuka's arrival at the complex and was deorbited, burning up in the Earth's atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean. Comments is inaudible. Yes, we're able to see it. So, and this cable needs to be routed through the cable holder. And this way, the Ethernet cable is going to go between the two holders along with the power cable. I think I have it figured out more or less. Is it connected, uh, mated and connected to the clip? Yes, it's uh, mated and uh, routed through the clip. Just uh, to bring folks up to date, uh, three of the uh, first four power connectors are now mated to the uh, Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory Modules patch panel. As uh, the routing of power uh, and the work uh, to accomplish that task continues by Novitsky and Dubrov.
when the connector is mated, uh, the uh, attach uh, the uh, attachment fixture is closed. Олег, как слышно? Go ahead. And uh, we've passed out of range of our tracking and data relay satellite system for video downlink. As we did, the International Space Station was flying about 260 statute miles above the uh, northern Pacific Ocean, just south of the Aleutian Island chain, moving from northwest to southeast on this track of the Earth. We're approaching the two-hour mark in uh, today's spacewalk, uh, the crew a few minutes uh, behind the timeline, but continuing uh, to work diligently to hook up the, the final connector and the first set of uh, cable connectors uh, that will route power to the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. About centimeters 30 or 40 from the handrail that it's been routed to. So basically, we can use the um, uh, cable attachment to cable tie. You can route it above the camera to the bracket and tie it. And then you can take a look. The bracket above the camera. Yes, you can route it. Excellent view of Pyotr Dubrov uh, at the top of your screen, uh, Oleg Novitsky at the bottom. Dubrov working at the uh, connector patch panel on the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. We routed above the camera. So if we make that... Dubrov, uh, Novitsky, and NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei launched on the Soyuz MS-18 spacecraft from the Baikonur Cosmodrome back in April. Vandehei was uh, assisting uh, the two cosmonauts in suiting up earlier this morning and uh, will assist them in getting out of their all-on spacesuits once they're back inside uh, the Poisk airlock at the end of today's activities. Uh, secure the Strela cargo boom to this handrail, so it would be better to uh, attach it on the side. So, yes, I think it would be better if we route it through the uh, cable holder. If there is a need, if there is a need to uh, take a short break, uh, you can take a short break after uh, mating the connectors. Okay, I am almost done with the cable. Uh, where is the Ethernet cable going to be routed? The Ethernet cable is on the on the handrail 2122. It's going to be routed from. Uh, let me let me start from the beginning. It's, uh, on the handrail 1500. And we are receiving confirmation now from uh, Russian flight controllers that all four connectors on the first uh, power cable bundle have been uh, connected to the Poisk module. So uh, the power cable bundle uh, number two, all of that work is completed. Uh, power cable uh, bundle number one is next up for uh, Dubrov and Novitsky to tackle here. On the handrail 2122, we have a cable holder that uh, Peter installed and where you're going to put uh, uh, kit number one. So the holder, so I'm ready to route it. I'm ready to route cable number one to 21, 22. So in that exact location under the holder, the Ethernet cable will be routed up below. It will be routed into the external cable holder shipped as a handcuff that's already been installed on the handrail 2122. Okay.
So until the handrail 21, okay, once again, could you repeat it? The holder. So the holder 21, 22 is installed on the handrail where we have the handcuff shape cable holder. Yes, that is correct. Okay, sounds good. Copy. Okay, that is clear now. There are a couple of minutes until the expected LOS. Copy. I have used the wire tie and secured the cable with it. On the side of the uh, 4019 handrail, copy, Peter, what do you think? So, do you think we need to install the cable holder on handrail 4022, or do you think there's no need for it? I think 4022 is located too far away. There's no need to install it there. I think this way it fits uh, nicely. Okay, sounds good. So that is your choice. Uh, you can take a break and wait for Alex to catch up with you. Or you can start uh, preparing the kit number 15 uh, to get the connectors. Okay, copy. Uh, let me catch my breath and I will start. Yes. This is just the start of the activity. Please don't exhaust yourself too early. We're anticipating an LOS in about one minute. Copy. Now, I can give you the cable now. Well, not uh, if you had enough of a break. Well, I can take the cable, but I haven't. I'm not done catching my breath. Oh, how about you go to channel 15, uh, where Peter is, and you can work together. And Peter, after you are done meeting all the connectors, the request for you, please take uh, uh, video and imagery using the Lister camera. Okay, I should not have closed the uh, MLI. Yes, you should not have. You will need to take a photograph. Uh, you will need to take imagery of the of both panels. Well, it fits so nicely. I don't think I can do it again so nicely. Two hours, five minutes into today's spacewalk uh, by Oleg Novitsky and Piotr Dubrov. We should be regaining our downlink TV capability momentarily through the tracking and data relay satellite system. The first four connectors of a series of eight power connectors now mated to the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. The spacewalk expected to last up to seven hours in duration or so as uh, the two cosmonauts work uh, in the initial outfitting of the new module that arrived at the International Space Station back on July 29th. Uh, what I need to do uh, with this additional um, panel, I don't know. I think it will be easier. Uh, it's easier if uh, one person works on it instead of two. Well, I don't think the crew work bag will be uh, getting in the way. I'll look, Peter. Do I think we can move it uh, to the other side? Uh, which one? The crew bag. 
We were just expecting to have an LOS, but uh, the, we do have calm, we hear you. Олег Петр. Так, with the uh, first uh, four connectors having been mated, uh, Novitsky and uh, Dubrov uh, will clean up uh, some of the slack in those cables and uh, begin uh, to work uh, with the second uh, bundle of uh, power connectors. They are expected to take a breather here for a few minutes uh, as we move into the third hour of today's spacewalk. Hello, Peter. Do you hear me? Go ahead. Copy. So we do have calm. That is good news. Peter, when Oleg um, translates to your location, uh, try, if you put, do you think uh, it will work if you remove the trash bag from the cover of plane one, from panel one? Do you think I can remove the um, caps, uh, the remaining caps now? So you're going to use a hook two to secure them? Yes, because it won't work any other way. It's easier to gather them on one hook and then one by one move them from the hook. Flying just uh, to the west of Baja, California, a good view from uh, the cosmonauts' uh, helmet cameras. Looking at uh, the connector patch panel uh, on the top of your screen as uh, they uh, continue to work uh, just a few minutes behind the uh, published timeline in uh, beginning uh, the process of providing electrical continuity to the new Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. Uh, working with the double wing nets. I don't think it will disengage from the cable holder. It wasn't clear which angle to secure it at, uh, the maximum angle, of course. I don't think it has a lever. What kind of lever? Uh, the same as the long, uh, the long type has. I think it's um, too little space for two people to work together here. You see, I have a bunch of everything attached to my red. Uh, it needs to be placed into the trash bag, all of it. Yes. So that's why Artyom uh, 
That's why I tell him recommend it. We do it together because it's not very uh, easily accessible to me by myself. To All the caps will be going here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll so you need to remove those caps. Do you need to remove those caps as well? Yes. Let me move this side so you can get access. What are we going to do? There is no calm yet. Did you tighten the holder? This one? Yes, I did. Here is the cable. Then as one of the options, I'm going to remove the caps. And then we can try to remove, um, to place all of those caps into the trash bag. All right, Peter. Go ahead. Yes. yes, we have stable calm. Uh, LOS uh, intervals are over. Right now I understand you're ready to work with uh, KIT-15. I started preparing the connectors. So you decided to use the same hook to uh, remove the ties and the caps. Do you think you can use the second one? I'm going to remove all of them and then while Oleg is here nearby, he's going to help me place those into the trash bag. Uh, that's our idea.
тебя нет желания на другой карабин Two hours, 18 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk, uh, initial indications from our electrical systems officer here in Mission Control is that uh, good electrical continuity has been established through the four uh, power connectors, the first of uh, eight power connectors uh, that uh, will be mated uh, during today's spacewalk. The first uh, four connectors uh, mated uh, to the Nayuka multipurpose laboratory module, all providing good electrical continuity to the new module. Connectors are small and narrow, and also there are cables dragged through parallel to them. They are in the way. Probably somebody at some point in the past thought that this would be more convenient, but it seems like they were not correct. Yes, maybe on the ground that was easier, but when you're here in space with big EVA gloves, it's very hard to reach. Pyotr Dubrov uh, working uh, with Oleg Novitsky. Dubrov on the left, Novitsky on the right at uh, the uh, next connector patch panel about uh, to begin the mating of the second uh, series of four connectors uh, to provide power continuity to the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. The crew is very close to the timeline as we approach the uh, two and a half hour mark in today's excursion. Okay. Is this good? Yes, just one more cap. Okay, I 
have this? So now I need to figure out how to secure this. Okay. Let's try to gather it in one bundle. Can you do that here? Okay, let's try this. I will hold it to make sure that it doesn't collapse, doesn't fold together. And then maybe you'll be able to push them here and remove them from the hook. Okay, like try to do it here. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what you're trying to do. Okay, I think I need to be holding this scooter. Here's my thought. Maybe this hook, large, small, maybe don't worry about it and put, a, put it away in the crew bag and instead of it, Retrieve from the crew back the small, small red. I think it's easier to use this for the installation. For what? For the tools. Both talking at the same time. We should have the wire tie here as well. Also, we have the adjustable tether. Let's try that. If it works quickly, then we'll just go ahead and do that. Flying uh, just uh, to the west of Ecuador, the uh, International Space Station at an altitude of 260 statute miles, a great view of uh, so Oleg Novitsky, who uh, is in the second spacewalk of his career, as is Pyotr Dubrov. The two worked outside the station three months ago in decommissioning the uh, now discarded Piers docking compartment. In advance of the arrival of the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module, to which they are continuing to work, to hook up a series of eight power connectors. Secure it. No, wait, let me try with this. Because I will go ahead and put this stuff in the crew bag. Well, but it still floating out at least one of them. Okay, Oleg. Don't worry about this whole thing for now. Use this small, small red, pull it out of the crew bag, and then uh, put this one away. Yes, because this cap, they keep floating away. Yes, so to, or floating apart. Yes, I agree. Okay. If we could do one or two at a time, then it would be doable. When we have a whole bunch of them all at the same time, then it's really uh, hard to push them through. Oleg. Okay, Oleg and Peter. Here's what we're going to do. Let's leave this for the time being. Then we are supposed to pause to check the cable uh, for 20 minutes. And that will give us the time to take care of this portion here. Okay. So I think this is what I did, more or less. See? Oleg and Peter. How did you copy? Yes, we copy and concur. It's just I'm showing how we will do it when we have a chance. See? Like, do this. Okay, Peter, let's just postpone this. We are starting to lag behind. So, let's just go ahead and return to our timeline work. Okay, copy that.
Okay. So, do I go ahead and move toward the coil? No. If you cannot work with place 15, then you need to translate to the operator post. Because uh, we go to the adapter plate after plate 16. Copy that. Peter, what's going on here? Maybe we'll put the cable here while I am working with the connectors. What do you mean, where exactly? Well, maybe uh, somewhere near the uh, handrail. Near number 21 or so. I need to uncoil this. Okay. So I think the best thing to do would be to move the entire bunch of these. Okay. Like I, what, from what I'm seeing, the length of the cable is excessive. So maybe when you install the um, the tie to handrail 4021, then you guys can do this together. Okay, let me see. So we have the target here. I'm trying to translate. Okay, let me push back a little bit and that will allow you to move through this area. Crew lock bag is located at where at this time? It's nearby, right in front of Oleg. Okay, we copy. This is Mission Control Houston, two and a half hours into uh, today's spacewalk. Oleg Novitsky and uh, Piotr Dubrov continuing uh, to work in tandem in the uh, connection of a series of eight power cables to provide electrical continuity to the new Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. The first four connectors have been mated and uh, good electrical continuity has been reported here in Mission Control in Houston. Uh, back uh, to the Russian segment of the International Space Station. The crew uh, outside, uh, Novitsky EV-1 with the red stripes on his suit and Dubrov uh, that you see in the foreground uh, with the blue stripes on his suit as EV or extra vehicular crew member number two are now preparing uh, to mate the next four power connectors. We don't have much space, too much room for the two of us. Yes, hold on. Do not tighten the connectors yet. Okay, it's working. Four, fifteen, four, three, one. Thanks, the boys, thanks. I think these are identical. Artyom. The, uh, the uh, ring can be attached to any of these handrails, correct? Yes. Copy. Now put 
We need to move the cable. The first cable is as close as the second one. Artyom, can I install the holder without removing from the crew lock bag? Okay, which red are we using to secure it? No, the one, uh, the one that's part of the bag. Okay, then it is not desirable. Not preferred. Okay. So if you're holding it with your left hand, maybe you can attach it there. That, that opening right there. I have made it. Connector KHP 1514. Okay, so... 15, 4, 15, 4 have been mated. I confirm. Okay, let me uh, make this here. The connector is clear, no debris. Piotr Dubrov reporting uh, that the first uh, connector of the uh, second quartet of power connectors uh, for the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module now connected. Crew continuing to work uh, through their procedures at this connector patch panel. Attach it closer to 4022 or in the other, the other side. It is best to attach it closer to the bracket, but it's not really that important. We need to make sure that we install it in a way that allows us to conveniently put in the cable. Okay, mating 15-2. Although, Oleg, we'll have the Ethernet cable nearby, so can you attach it? slightly away from here. Okay. So in that case, uh, on handrail 40, uh, 4021, I need to attach this to the side that's closer to 4022. Correct. Okay. Um, 15.2 has been mated. Proceeding to 15-1. Copy and thank you. Three out of the four connectors now mated. The debris is absent. It looks clean. Okay, copy that. You have our go to mate. 15-1 has been mated. Thank you. Now you need to stow it and perform photo imagery. And with that, uh, all eight power connectors have been mated uh, to provide electrical continuity uh, to the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. I have installed it. So I have installed it, uh, the cable clamp on 4021. Good. Now tighten this cable, if you can, um, unless it's in the way for Peter. Yes, we will see. Peter, is it in 
the way for you? Let me wait till he's done. Okay, copy. Oleg, in that case, go ahead and inspect the area where you have the spring-loaded hook. It's 11.06. Okay, 11.06. Now, behind, uh, we're going to use this bracket of um, this handrail to attach the Ethernet cable to it. Okay. I think that it will go along the handrail where we have the F8. Yeah. Yeah. Real, right? Yeah. And then down to here. Yeah. Correct. Now you get to 4006. This will be our first attach point. And then 4005 near the plate. Also use the bracket to attach uh, this cable. Okay, we have wire ties. Can we use them? Yes, you may. Okay, so let me grab one. Okay, on the cable itself we have something. Yes, this is the Ethernet cable. Copy that. Okay, I have the connectors made it, stowed. Okay. So you can go ahead and install the cable. Let me try to photograph. Okay, so you're pulling this off of the um, cable clamp. Yes, you can tilt it a little bit toward the cable. Okay, so we ended up with a loop. Maybe we could uh, install it on the 4022 instead. Yes, maybe use the wire tie to attach it to a 4022, specifically the bracket, and then and this should be okay. Yeah, wire tie should work. Because we have two kinks here, and or two bends, and we need to attach it in these two points. Oleg, can you also use the clamp um, to attach it to the cable holder? Say that again. Inside the cable holder, there is a spring clamp, spring-loaded clamp that can and should be used to secure the cable. There are two pins there sticking out, so push, pull them, and it should trigger it. Uh, yes, I understood. Thank you. Okay, Artyom. Wait, I can't pull them. And because I'm having a bunch of tasks thrown at me at the same time. So I can only do one thing at a time. No, that's that's fine, that's okay. Okay, so I've used the spring loaded mechanism. Now, is installing the wire tie. We copy and thank you. Okay. Peter, maybe the wire tie needs to be attached to 4023 because on 4022 it will keep sliding. Copy that. Peter, can you also show us handrail of 4019 for the camera? Yes, let me try. Can 
можешь еще потом also, поснимать в сторону ФГБ, after that, could you видеть на память там сохранилось do the imagery toward the FGB so that we have the record of how the cables are laid there in that area. And then after that, uh, you can stop with the photos, um, with the imagery, because we want to save the battery life. I don't know. I don't think the picture quality is going to be that great. Okay, Peter. In that case, don't worry about it. Let's uh, close the MLA, MLI valve 1516 and move on to the next task. Copy that. Turning off. We will be in the eclipse in six minutes. Хорошо. Copy that. Петр, принято. Peter. I copied. Yes, I finished with the imagery. Put away the camera. Proceeding to closing the MLI, MLI valves. Copy that. Copy your leg. Thank you. Now you need to translate to the operator post. Let me sit down for a minute and take a rest. Have some rest and then I will translate to the operator post. Yes, absolutely. This is Mission Control Houston. Two hours, 46 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov have completed uh, the initial uh, mating of eight power connectors to the uh, Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. They're just now closing up thermal insulation over the connector patch panel at that work site. The crew uh, working steadily, uh, just a few minutes down on the timeline, nothing significant. They uh, will relocate uh, the Strela telescoping boom now uh, to uh, the work site at the Zarya module, which is the connecting point between the U.S. and Russian segments of the International Space Station for the next uh, series of activities, which will be uh, to continue the routing of these uh, power connections, this time uh, to a uh, power connecting panel on Zarya, which then will complete uh, the circuit uh, to the U.S. Uh, segment uh, electrical system. We are attached by the hook 
experience uh, that our in this uh, that power mating uh, activity all associated with the first in a series of what is expected to be 11 spacewalks by Russian cosmonauts to uh, fully outfit the newly arrived Naoka module that launched uh, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on July 21st, arriving eight days later at the International Space Station to serve as a laboratory a uh, multi-port uh, docking destination for Russian vehicles, as well as uh, a new airlock uh, to provide uh, a pair of airlocks, in fact, uh, for Russian spacewalks at the station in the future. Okay, so um, relative to this trailer, I think we will orient it very nicely. Yes, Oleg, go ahead and pass here. I am working on it. Yes, I'm not trying to rush you. Now we secure, uh, you know, the uh, crew lock uh, bag with the cable clamp on three lamps. Yes, that's correct. So what will be the best way here to get to the S2 Trila? Alek, we copied you last. Actually, it's a question, you know, what will be the best way to get to Strela? So, you know, I did not understand you. Sorry. Yes, you uh, will reach uh, Strela and then... Uh, Activate teleporter, and uh, by teleporting, you will reach the operator's post. All right, just a minute. Let me activate my teleporter. So we had a short LOS, Alex, in less than one minute, uh, 30 seconds actually, you, you will enter the eclipse. Copy, Moscow. We already have entered the eclipse already. Copy. I will secure my tethers on the S2. Boom. Alex, Piotr. Alex, Piotr. Go ahead. Each of you have, has a one American uh, light on, correct? Yes, let's affirm. I have a suggestion and a request. As we are trying uh, to move uh, the Strela bomb during the eclipse, you will need maximum light. So you will have to activate all lights, or both American ones and Orlan lights as well. Alec, uh, do not move away from me, because I cannot reach it. Yes, stand by one. Yes, now I have it. On the right, stand by one. You have two on the right, two lights. 
Uh, I am reaching to your lights right now. I am flying away from you. No, it's uh, not possible to reach here. The target is in the way. So I have them on both American ones, on both sides. Now I will have to do the same for you, Piotr. You know, I have light right in my in my eyes, so I cannot see very well. One is on. The second one for you. This is it. Yes. Here you go. Thank you so much. Okay, so let us resume our activities now. So I translated uh, to the store safety and uh, we'll be moving towards the operator's post. Copy, Alex. Alex, could you please tell us while you are translating, can you see the FGB arrays? I am looking at the Srila itself. Copy. Copy, Alex. Once you are uh, at uh, your destination, then uh, you will look around. Yes, sounds good. So I'm on the other side of Vostrela right now. I uh, secured uh, to the handrail on the uh, PDGF, so you can start releasing the PDGF, and after that, uh, take a breather. All right, copy. 
Петр, ты ведь наблюдаешь, да, опору, которая опора для СТМ. Петр, can you see the cradle of STM? Да, наблюдаю. Yes, of course. So the PDGF is released. Copy. Now take some rest. Uh, wait for Oleg. And you can inspect uh, the location where we will relocate the boom. Now, can you see the uh, arrays from where you are, Piotr? Yes. Uh, quite clearly. I can uh, see them uh, very well from here. Of course, you know, there are lights uh, directed on it, so the contours of the arrays are quite clear. Now, we will wait until Oleg uh, will also tell us that he can see the arrays. So after that, we will start the activity, but uh, I'm being told here that you should take a rest for five minutes at least. Хорошо. Sounds good. Go ahead. I wanted to make you aware that STR thermal regulation is working nominally. So, it is working uh, absolutely. This is Mission Control, Houston. We have just passed the. Uh, uh, we've just passed the three-hour mark in uh, today's spacewalk by Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov. They uh, have completed uh, the initial connection of eight power connectors to the uh, Naoka multipurpose laboratory module and now are making their way towards uh, the Zarya pressurized mating adapter number one interface that joins uh, the Russian and U.S. segments of the International Space Station to complete the connections of two uh, power cable bundles that uh, will wrap up uh, full electrical continuity between the U.S. segment of the station and uh, the newly arrived Naoka module. They also uh, will be mating uh, an Ethernet cable uh, between uh, the Naoka module and the U.S. segment of the station and will install three additional handrails to uh, Naoka that will uh, provide for easier translation capability for future Russian spacewalks. Again, uh, the two cosmonauts working in tandem outside of the Russian segment of the station completed the initial connection of eight uh, power connectors to Naoka and now are making their way down uh, to complete uh, the full uh, connective uh, continuity of those circuits to the U.S. segment uh, through the Zarya module that was the first element of the International Space Station launched back on November 20th 1998. Lights here. So I can see the third plane. It is quite uh, clear. Uh, everything is visible. I think maybe it's time for us to begin and uh, then we'll see how it goes. All right. So if you can see the element of the structure, then even in eclipse you can start working. 
Ну, да, до светлого времени. Сколько? Well, uh, how long is until day, day, daylight? Да, до светлого еще 20 минут. 20 минут, uh, or even more. Ну, в принципе, общее направление я... Well, the, I can see in the general direction, but, you know, I cannot see details uh, as clear... На свету тебе было плохо видно. As clearly as the general uh, picture, so to say. All right, so let us do it slowly, even slower than usual. Петр. Управлять движениями Олега. Да. Uh, you try to control Олег's movements. Хорошо, буду стараться. All right, I will do my best. When we raise the boom and turn it towards the FGB, then we will need to make sure uh, what will the best position will be. Dubrov and uh, Novitsky uh, consulting with Russian flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center on uh, the right uh, body movements and configurations uh, that they will need uh, once they arrive down at the Zarya module to complete the electrical connections uh, for the um, eight uh, power cables that were connected earlier in the spacewalk uh, to the Naoka multi-purpose laboratory module. Those electrical uh, continuity connections to be completed uh, a short time from now as two cable bundles will be hooked up to uh, power connectors on Zarya to complete uh, the connection that will will provide uh, U.S. orbital se uh, segment uh, station power uh, to Naoka for the duration of its lifetime on the International Space Station. This is the uh, 242nd spacewalk in support of station assembly maintenance and upgrades, the 10th conducted out of the ISS in 2021, the fifth spacewalk by Expedition 65 crew members. It is the second uh, spacewalk for both Novitsky and Dubrov, who spent uh, seven hours and 19 minutes outside the station back on June 2nd to complete the decommissioning of the now discarded Piers docking compartment. The, when you turn in your... They will be back at it uh, outside of the International Space Station next Thursday in the second in this long series of spacewalks to outfit and activate uh, the Naoka module. The next spacewalk, September 9th, will uh, hook up an Ethernet patch cable, uh, connect uh, two high-frequency cables between the Zvezda service module and uh, Naoka to provide a television system capability for the new module. They will uh, uh, lay out a cable between the Zvezda's uh, core's automated rendezvous system and a comparable system on Naoka for uh, approaching Russian vehicles that will ultimately dock uh, to the multi-purpose laboratory module and uh, will install a cable uh, and an antenna feeder unit uh, for high uh, data rate uh, telemetry and navigational uh, information capability for Naoka. Copy, Alec, it's a go. Sunday, September 12th, we'll see yet another spacewalk out of the International Space Station, this time out of the Quest airlock by Station Commander Aki Hoshide from the uh, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and Toma Peske of the European Space Agency as they will don U.S. extravehicular mobility units moving outside of the Quest airlock to the port fortress of the International Space Station to uh, install a mod kit, uh, basically a bracket uh, that uh, arrives on the most recent uh, SpaceX Cargo Dragon vehicle. It will be installed on the Port Fort Truss uh, to accommodate the next in the series of IROSA, or ISS Rollout Solar Arrays, that uh, will be delivered on a future SpaceX cargo mission. Right. So they make the boom, uh, you know, too bright for the eyesight, so I will try to deactivate our one light. Well, maybe it will be better. Copy. I can see FGB solar arrays now. This is Piotr. Well, it's a quite a, a, a large distance uh, towards them, about two meters even more.
положении сейчас стрела. Олег, what is the position of the стрела right now? Приподнял. Выполняем поворот в сторону оси. We are turning towards the FGB axis, so we lifted it to about 30 degrees. So right now we are passing under the FGB structure. We can see the arrays pretty clearly. There is no chance to of collision at all. No risk. Well, right now I cannot see very well. This is Alec. So we are turning the boom in, par in parallel with the FGB axis, correct? Yes, uh, I confirm. So that when we extend it, uh, it should reach to, to the GR. And also you will uh, put it down uh, in your later on. Uh, you mean pitch, not your. No, right now you are doing the maneuver in your and then you will put it down so that uh, it will be strictly in parallel and then you will extend it towards the uh, or pressurized adapter copy unfortunately American lights are Uh, beaming right into my eyes, and I cannot see the structure very well. But it is still very far uh, towards the solar arrays. I will stop it right now for a while. Yes, it's better to uh, take a look around and uh, in order to understand, uh, you know, whether you will have to correct your actions or your movement. Well, it is still very far until the structure towards the structure, a big gap between us and the structure. So, but we'll need to do your turn. Well, no, I don't think you need it to do it in your. We found a picture. You can use pitch, uh, put it down, and then start extending it. Yes, it will be kind of a multi-stage movement. Of course, uh, otherwise we won't be able to extend it in that direction later on. And here on our side, There is an antenna, or what? What is it, Anton? Yes, it is a boom. BVP move, boom. So you have to uh, avoid it. No, we haven't reached it yet. So I started moving in your. Uh, if we do it in pitch, parallel to this antenna, and then we'll stop and uh, we'll see what to do next. What will be the best way? Yes, there are two uh, fingers here, the short and the long one. Alec, uh, actually there are, there are the tri tripod there. There should be a tripod there. Yes, yes, it is a tripod. That's right. So I'm putting it down, bringing it down, Piotr, slowly. Better monitor my movement. Artyom, I think we will have to use uh, your movement and to put it back a little bit. Uh, sounds good. I will uh, put it a little bit down here. We actually had this plan to use your maneuver in order to take the boom a little back a little bit. So we can start moving it back uh, earlier than planned. It's okay. So we're using your maneuver to, to uh, pull it back a little bit.
This is Mission Control Houston, a good view uh, at the uh, base of the Poisk module of the Strela boom. Strela, the Russian word for arrow. This is a telescoping boom used uh, to transport uh, cosmonauts uh, to various work sites during spacewalks outside of the International Outpost. At the uh, base uh, of uh, the Strela is uh, Pyotr Dubrov wearing the suit uh, with the blue stripes being uh, maneuvered uh, by uh, Oleg Novitsky who's at the operator's post at the other end of the boom. Dubrov will wind up uh, at the interface uh, between uh, the Zarya module and pressurized mating adapter number one, which is uh, the junction uh, between the U.S. and Russian segments of the station to begin work to uh, attach uh, two cable bundles uh, at various attachment points to provide uh, the final leg of electrical continuity uh, between uh, the U.S. segment's electrical system and the newly installed uh, and arrived uh, Naoka multipurpose uh, uh, laboratory module. Now, if you put it down, it will be easier for me uh, to uh, point it at the target later on. Okay, so uh, let me put it mo down a little bit more. Yes, I can see the movement uh, down. Can you see FGB? Yes, I can stop. Alec? Piotr. So, in the middle, in FGB, next to the location when we were working, when we were removing the pump. So this AKR, but they are rather far away, I hope. So, so what do you think, maybe I should use the your maneuver here? to turn it a, a bit, so I don't think it, it is useful to put it down because we will be moving in parallel to FGB, so I think we should extend it. Well, the most important thing, not to touch uh, antenna. I will control it. All right, so you suggest that we extend it? Yes, and so, Piotr, could you please look ahead of you? Yes, I am looking at the final destination point. Because right now I'm, uh, um, you know, not looking straight ahead. I'm uh, turned uh, with my side. All right, uh, I've started the movement. I can see the movement. Copy, guys. Piotr, how are things? Everything is nominal. Good. <laughs> sure. Uh, we are not moving too fast. Uh, you know, maybe it's uh, really too fast. Well, uh, no, just solar rays in my eyes. So we are now passing the location where we used to secure the uh, adapter, the container, airtight container. So, so you are right at the perimeter. Yes, we are uh, over the short side, it's very hard to say in this position. 
I think we will have to turn a little bit towards the array. Well, probably we'll see how it goes. Piotr, can you see the final point of destination? Yes, I can see the approximate location, but I cannot see the railing yet. Copy. I can see two cables there. I am actually above the power cables right now, flying over. So Three hours, 18 minutes into uh, the spacewalk, uh, Pyotr Dubrov at the end of the uh, Strela telescoping boom, uh, being carefully and slowly maneuvered into place over a uh, patch panel on the Zarya module of the International Space Station, the first element ever launched to the complex to begin the station era back on November 20th, 1998. He uh, will be uh, hooking up uh, two cable bundles uh, that will complete uh, the electrical uh, continuity and connection all the way from the uh, Nyoka multipurpose laboratory module to uh, the Zarya module and the power source uh, from pressurized mating adapter number one, which is the connection point between the U.S. and Russian segments of the station. This will complete the electrical power leg, if you will, uh, to provide uh, power to Naoka for future operations. The problem here, this device cannot be turned uh, compared to the axis, uh, but the railing has to be perpendicular to the boom. So. so, do you remember uh, that we don't need to put it and stabilize it. You know, if uh, it is possible, you will be uh, probably holding uh, the boom with one hand. Yes, I remember that you told me that. Thank you. And I'll be moving. So in five and a half minutes. Do you see the marking? Oh, we, I can't really see the markings on the handrail, but I am exactly above the solar arrays uh, attachment points. And do you see the camera? And there is a boom here, an empty one. And I think we need to side pass it too. But now we are proceeding with the movement, right? Right, Oleg. We haven't gotten to the pressure adapter yet. Okay, I understand. This boom looks pretty dangerous. Something used to be attached there, probably. Did you see any, have you spotted any markings yet? Well, no. It's just so faded. But I see cables with, that are marked 1,300. Right, so Pyotr, would you be able to secure yourself and get to that handrail? No, not really. I don't think I can 
attach myself to it. N I work and try. No, just uh, use the red to secure yourself to to that handrail. Hey, just a little bit more. I copy. Stop. Stop. Confirmed. Fyodor. Go ahead. Could you evaluate if we get attached to 1302, that handrail, can you move to the pressurized adapter to GA? While being attacked, uh, while using that handrail, I don't think so. There seems to be something protruding there, and it says O F S O. That's what is written on the MLI. And so it's difficult to use the handrail here. All right, I, I see that I can't really get attached there. The, I see the hook there, but I don't think I can get attached there. Okay, well, if you can move past that point, then you can use handrail 1302. But if you can't move past this point, then you, can, uh, you will have to move forward. Well, we don't have that many options. Let me evalu uh, evaluate. If I we move forward and we get it and I get attached to this hand handrail. Please stand by one. Can't really see anything around if I can go around it. There are very few handrails here. Peter, look, uh, that handrail, 1302. What if you move to 1320, which is below your feet right now on that side? Did you say 1320? Yes, I can get to 1320. But I, from 1320 to PMA, that's the tricky part. There are different station structures, and um, it's kind of difficult to estimate if it's a good route right now. I see the connectors that I need to get to. I see handrails on that other side. We can't get ourselves attached to the piping here. No, we cannot. So if I use a short rut and, and um, secure myself there, but it's kind of challenging to find two attachment points. So what about this 38, 1038? I think, I think we have a chance here. And you can lower me. Pitch. Did you say pitch? I thought it would be your. Yeah, we definitely can go down uh, using pitch maneuver. So it's a your maneuver. Right. I agree. This is Mission Control Houston approaching the three and a half hour mark in uh, today's spacewalk. Okay, I can As uh, Pyotr Dubrov is uh, slowly but surely uh, being maneuvered uh, by Oleg Novitsky to uh, here. the area stop, stop, stop. at the uh, Zarya module yes. of the International Space Station and the connection point between the U.S. and Russian segments of the complex right. where he uh, intends to hook up uh, two power bundle cables uh, that uh, will complete the electrical 
critical connections between uh, the U.S. segment power supply and the uh, Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. Eight uh, power connectors earlier in this spacewalk were uh, hooked up successfully to uh, Naoka, and now uh, we are awaiting uh, the arrival at uh, the correct worksite area just uh, above uh, the Zarya module uh, power patch panels uh, so that uh, Dubrov can complete those connections uh, with the two uh, power cable bundles. All right, and stop. Okay, and I'm securing the handle here. And let me find my hook. Okay. Oh my god, that's like so many hooks to choose from. floating away a little bit. Well, I didn't touch anything. How do you copy? Pretty badly with a lot of interference. You are going through some um, interference. Securing the Strela to thirteen zero five. Copy. And I am using the attachment, and if I can, if we look at the boom, it's at the safe distance from the structures of the station. So so just make sure that there is the noise is horrendous. I am trying to tell you that you do not need to attach it to an intelligible. You just have to make sure that um, it's away from the station structures and the solar arrays. And Oleg, you can begin copy in work. the crew bag with the tools, right? Right. You take the tools and move to 10.35 and 10.33. These are your to uh, secure the other crew log bag. Copy.
riding uh, at the end of the uh, Strela telescoping boom from the Poisk module down uh, to the Zarya module. The boom itself is being secured uh, by uh, Pyotr Dubrov uh, before he makes his way to the work site uh, to begin the work to connect uh, two power cable bundles uh, to connector points on the Zarya module that will provide electrical continuity between U.S. electrical systems and the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. Do you copy us? Yes. Uh, and the call was pretty weak. Stand by one. So, STO, STU, the STU does not have any safety tether attached. So, is it okay or not? I'm not sure. Copy. Maybe we can use a side wire, the lanyard. Piotr reported that the mobile hook the mobile ring actually has the ability to secure. Well, there is a ring. And that's what I'm saying. Maybe you can take the red and secure to the ring so that um, that same uh, red could be used at the PDGF. Hold on. There is the antenna. Right, but you know. And I reached it. Copy. So let me secure myself with my short hook. Spring hook. So the short rat is secured to the safety device as two. Said that oh no, no, that's not going to work. Uh, what we're trying to tell you. So let's uh, translate and find a different red for for him. Okay. So you can't reach it with this red. Well, there is this uh, spring hook attached. Yeah, that's how it was. And why do you need it? We don't really need it. Well, but we can actually secure ourselves to the ring. But what about further? Oh, I got to 
That's um, like Christmas lights of all spring hooks here. All garlands. And I'm starting moving towards Peter. This is Oleg. And I'm trying to secure myself here and uh, take the crew lock bag with me. Copy. And that's not an easy task. All these spring hooks are now mingled together. Are you secured? Uh, is the Estrella secure? Yes. So, we tightened it as much as possible, but there is still a little bit of slack left. This is Mission Control Houston, three hours, 40 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk by Oleg Novitsky and Piotr Dubrov as uh, the cosmonauts work uh, to secure the Strela telescoping boom onto a cradle in the area of the Zarya module of the International Space Station, the precursor to the uh, cosmonauts uh, completing electrical connections of two uh, power cable bundles uh, that uh, will ultimately route uh, electricity from the U.S. segment of the International Space Station through Zarya and pressurized mating adapter number one from an interface panel all the way to the Nyoka multipurpose laboratory module to which eight power connectors were hooked up earlier in today's spacewalk. Almost next to Peter. Copy. The crew lock bag is secure to me. And now let me try and move to the work area. And we see the attachment points. And let me try and uh, secure myself there. Do you mean the um, boom that's on the on gear, on the pressurized adapter? Yes. Of and uh, we confirm you are go to use those handrails. Peter. Go ahead. I saw that handrail 1320 is wobbly a little bit. Yep, it is wobbly a little bit. 
And I confirm. What can you see? What's the matter with it? Well, it's secured with screws, so we assume the screws are a little bit loose. Copy. They do. They do look like they are all the way in, but. The orifice that they go through is a little bit larger in diameter, so that's why. But that's all we can see. Copy, guys. Just be careful with this handrail. Yeah, I didn't secure myself to it. I'm just uh, holding on to it a little bit lightly. So... And I should follow Piotr's uh, footsteps. Right, but then you need to switch to the other side, so handrail 1030 and handrail 1033. All right, I copy. And from that side, definitely it wouldn't be possible. Right, if I move a little bit further by like half a meter, then I would be able to move on the left. Oleg, so the boom at its end has a metal ring that can be extended a little bit. Nope, it's not going to work because the red that is securing the PG, PGDF is connected to that ring. So if I disconnect the stela from the handrail, that's the only way we can extend it. So, all right, we got, we understand. But I'll try to just uh, move over to Piotr's side, and then I would have to verify. Well, if you look at that metal plate, then you can reach from there. So I should look at, like, I will check out the hook. Well, there is the target, and you should not touch the target. So beware, there may be sharp edges there, just, uh, just in case. Well, then there is, not, there is not much to hold on to because I was counting on that target. Right. Have you uh, moved that uh, crew lock bag that's on the Stella? No, not yet. I'm thinking that if you secure its uh, uh, spring hook to STU, to the safety device, then... And um, there is a cl cable clamp there, right? Uh, that's the only thing that you have. Yes, there is a spring hoop and there is a cable clamp. And you can see, get yourself sec securely on STU, attached on STU. On that changes a lot if I can't really touch the um, target. You can try and use the red. I'm trying. All right. I have one a spring hook of the crew lock bag secured to STU. And let me try and move... Um, on this side.
three hours, 48 minutes into uh, the spacewalk. Uh, the two cosmonauts, uh, Dubrov on your, your left, Novitsky on your right, uh, still securing the Strela telescoping boom to a cradle along the Zarya module of the International Space Station before they make their way towards a, uh, an interface panel, basically a patch panel at the uh, junction between pressurized mating adapter number one, the connecting tunnel, if you will, uh, between uh, the U.S. and Russian segments of the station. It is at that interface panel that the cosmonauts will mate uh, two power cable bundles to complete the electrical circuit that will provide U.S. segment electricity to the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. to go back. That's uh, going to be fun. I have uh, translated to the pressurized adapter. Copy. Uh, do you see uh, the uh, bundle uh, Test number two uh, secured here. Yes. Test number two. That is the one closest to you. So that is perpendicular uh, uh, to the um, truck, and I see the cable. Uh, clamp, and I see two connectors. One is larger facing us, and there are two smaller ones uh, facing uh, the uh, partner module. Yeah. So I will get closer, and we'll get a better look. When you uh, get closer, I will uh, repeat the instructions at that time. Okay. Sounds good. I am currently above the uh, uh, bundle test number one. I see the um, uh, connectors very well and the cable routed away from it. Well, Peter, next you're going to need to help Oleg. Maybe you are able to position yourself closer. Or he can help me with good advice. Well, that is a very interesting question. There are no other handrails here. I secured myself with the tether, with the non-retractable feather to the father's handrail on the pressurized adapter. However, well, 
basically I could have held on to the target. It's here as well. Well, here it's more or less a round shape. Maybe, Peter, you can look around and find the connectors J2, J3, the cables uh, that are secured but free-floating that, uh, that are used as tape. Uh, test cables, yes. Okay, I was looking at the uh, socket uh, uh, J W eight uh, zero twenty four. It's right there. I'm looking at it. Approaching the four-hour mark in today's spacewalk, Novitsky and Dubrov uh, are now familiarizing themselves with the uh, patch uh, panel, the, basically the interface panel at the Zarya module, uh, uh, to which uh, they will uh, shortly uh, connect uh, two power cable bundles to complete the electrical continuity uh, between uh, the Solid. Naoka multipurpose laboratory module and the U.S. segment uh, electrical system. So we need to connect the uh, bundle number two, and then uh, we're going to do the rest during the test activation. Okay, copy. So are you uh, receiving the video? Yes, I'm receiving the video. Okay, I am uh, here on the right side. I see P16 a connector with the cover on. On the left side, I don't see it yet. It is also P16. Hold on, give me one, give me one second. I will give you confirmation, and then you will continue. We're not allowed to secure it to the handrail. Not with your hook. Uh, zero, 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 0004, you are not allowed to use our non-retractable sensor uh, hook. You're not allowed to secure it. It can heat and you're not, you shouldn't be touching it with your gloves because it can heat up. Our counterparts warned us that it can heat up in the sun. And then you can uh, feel the heat through the gloves, oh, and the gloves yeah. can be affected by the heat. But you're not. You can translate uh, using this handrail uh, as support. There's no uh, reason why you shouldn't be touching it with your hands. So uh, I will be helpful. Is this cable bundle for the Ethernet cable? It looks like it. Right now, you can untie the test cable from the bundle, unless you think it's going to be in the way. Uh, Peter, uh, with the cutter, or maybe hand uh, the cutter over to Oleg, uh, would you be able to uh, get to it? Would you be able to reach it. I will try. Artem, why should we untie? It is able, why should I untie? It is able to uh, reach the panel. Well, if you're of uh, this cable is long enough to reach the panel, there's no need to untie the bundle. Well, I'm thinking it actually can go even farther in that direction, then the cable is rather rigid. So if it's not long enough, then untie, uh, to release the bundle, then or leave it as is if there's enough length. Okay, copy. So give you a go uh, for us to start the operations? No, I don't have confirmation for you yet. So right now, Peter and you um, position yourselves comfortably so you can work with the cutter or the end, the um, 
cap keeper. It will, will be cutting off the cap. I positioned myself in a way that I will have access to the crew of bag. It's not attached to anything. I'm hanging here nearby. Uh, actually, holding on to the handrail 0004. I will be able to uh, pull out the cutter and the cap keeper. Uh, copy. Uh, we received the go for the start of the operation. Uh, then T6, uh, G6, uh, prepare that connector to uh, pre-main. Copy. So we can remove the covers pre preliminarily. Yes, you can uh, prepare by removing the covers. Not with our gloves, though. These push buttons uh, don't work very well, it seems like. Guys, we had a short calm drop out. We are uh, handing over communications between satellites on our tracking and data relay satellite system. We'll get our video downlink from the station back momentarily as we pass the four-hour mark in today's spacewalk. Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov are at the Zarya module of the International Space Station, removing thermal covers to access an interface panel to which they shortly uh, will mate two bundles of power cables to complete the electrical connections between the U.S. electrical system on the International Space Station that flows through the Zarya module and the pressurized mating adapter um, um, pressurized mating adapter number one uh, that connects the U.S. and Russian segments of the station all the way uh, to the Nyoka multipurpose laboratory module to which eight power connectors were mated earlier in today's spacewalk. Then I'm ready for operation. Forward, over center, he made it. Forward, uh, over center, and made it. Uh, move it back all the way. Back, full, aft, over center. Full aft, over center. And so, uh, now work with G16, G16 from the FGB side. This is uh, forward, over center, and made it. This connector is ready to be made. It. You can. You can start. Pull up, over center. He made it. He made it. Copy. Right now you need to remove caps from the uh, test number two bundle. All three caps. Uh, secure them to the cap keeper, uh, keeper and cut off the ties. Copy. Uh, could you give me the cap keeper? Yes, 
Покажи вот он резак. Вот он. Get the cutter. Нет, ты можешь его сейчас. You can probably вот secure это. it. Нет, крышку сама. The cap itself. Да, я и обрежу. I'll remove it and cut it. You can keep the cutter right now, for now. They're on the external red. So you can work with that without removing from the crew walk back. Oleg, could you tell us the labeling that you are labeling on the connector that you're holding right now? Not yet. P16A slash J16. Copy. So, Papa 16. Should I continue? Go on and continue. They just asked me to verify the label. Do you think we can uh, secure the second cap? You will need to remove all uh, of them one after another. Okay, I will be uh, leading them here and take any. Okay, got it. Uh, we can probably cut off those two and leave the third one so we don't have to extract it from there just yet. Okay, the cutter. The cutter is secured. There are such wires and cutters. So this floated away. Something, the one is cut. Copy. The cap is still installed. Copy, we're seeing it. So you're ever seeing the video now? Yes. I apologize, I didn't tell you. Yeah, the second one is cut off. The gloves get uh, heated here pretty fast. I got the cutter. You're holding it? So should we remove the caps from both connectors uh, right away? Yes, remove all of them. And then remove the third one as well. I have only worked with the two. Uh, the other is pointing in the uh, opposite direction, so it's not very convenient. Okay, then remove the first two. I am removing one cap. The two cosmonauts are removing uh, connector caps from uh, one of the two power cable bundles that they will uh, hook up uh, to the interface panel at the Zarya module momentarily. All of this work uh, to complete the electrical circuitry uh, between the U.S. electrical systems on the U.S. segment of the station and the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. Just wouldn't go. Is there a chance uh, that you're holding on to that particular section that should be extracted from the connector? When you're pulling it back, part of the connector 
should be extended. Do you think you should be holding on to the cap instead? Uh, it's not convenient for me to hold on to the cap in this case. You're thinking this way? You see, so you can feel the motion starting and then it stops. Yes, it stops uh, straight in the middle. Maybe you can use the um, vice grips or the handrail. How can I use the handrail? You can press this particular lever against the handrail and try to push. You think so? This one? I think so. Are you able to reach it? My colleagues are telling us that you can use the handrail number 0004 or vice grips, whichever one you find more convenient. I don't know. I would need to unbundle the cable to get to the handrail. Uh, are the caps uh, stuck on both connectors? Yes. Then let's try the vice grips. And are the vice grips are in the crew bag? Yes, they're in the crew bag. Let's try it. Let's try. If I let go, I'll float away. You need to pull out the rat and close it. What did you say? Let me hold the crew bag. Uh, there's reflection from the sunlight. I can't see it very well. Of course, it's at the very bottom. That's the law. Right now, the sun reflection is shining in my eyes. I can't see very well. While Peter is extracting the vice grip, you can try uh, to use the adjustable hook of the adjustable feather as a lever and use the hook of the adjustable length feather by pulling on the lever. It is an acceptable option. I think if I pull on it, it won't help because I think by pulling on the um, pressing and pulling on the lever, uh, I think there is a stronger force applied. While I received this recommendation while we were waiting for the vice grips, you can probably try using the adjustable length as a hook. They are, however, attached to the internal rat. Yes, they were uh, provided in case of a multi-level off nominal situation. Many, many failure deep. 
Все их достал, в принципе. Yes. Не, это ерунда. I, you know, yeah, I pulled out, I got the right strips. Well, this option with the hook is not usable. Потому что мой большой. We're going to get into an eclipse run. Okay, copy. This is Mission Control Houston, four hours, 14 minutes into the spacewalk. Uh, the two cosmonauts uh, continuing to configure uh, the connectors uh, that uh, will complete the electrical circuitry uh, between the U.S. segment of the station and the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. These are two uh, power cable bundles uh, that uh, will wrap up uh, the electrical connection work for this first of what is expected to be up to 11 spacewalks to outfit and activate Naoka following its arrival at the station back on July 29th. Eight power connectors were mated uh, between uh, the Poisk module and uh, Naoka earlier in today's spacewalk by Oleg Novitsky and uh, Pyotr Dubrov, and now uh, they are working uh, to prepare uh, the connectors these basically are uh, two power cable bundle connectors that will be uh, hooked up to the interface panel at the Zarya module of the International Space Station. Titan device grip. I just set them up. I did. I did. Uh, uh, make the returns. My hands are tired. Well, then maybe you can get a break. And uh, Peter, are you able to reach that point? Basically, I can. But not, not yet, because... So I let go of the handrail, so I am anywhere but where I need to be. I think, I think the matter is with the connector itself. For some reason, this is not moving as if there is a stop. Uh, set in there. So my hands are full as well after digging through the curl bag. For some reason, it wouldn't move back. Visual, if the visual inspection doesn't show any damage. I see full after the center. Copy. This is connector. Is it six, number 16? Let me tell you the number. 
У меня в руках C2. I have C2. I have C16. I J16. The cap is still attached. Let me try to open this one, and you can remove the cap in the meantime. Once again, C16A, the, that's the one you remove the cap from, right? Yes. And with the, the second one as well? Copy, remove the cap. Move it up towards yourself. Yes, the cap is off. Now we're mating P2. Uh, we're going to remove the cap from the third connector. Remove the third cap. The third cap should be removed by rotating quarter way around the circumference and pulling it up without all the previous complications. Okay, so this is J16A, T16, we copy. So, Oleg, maybe use the adjustable for now. Okay, I am holding this in my hand, and I can't move it because I don't really have anything to grab. Okay, maybe you can grab the round one. It's okay to take that. Copy that. Okay, maybe I should move up the cap here. Hold on. Uh, open the bit. I can't. I need to grab it first. I'm hanging on here. Okay, hold on. It's not working. Let me try here. Okay, I got it. I always need to be holding the um, handrail using one hand at all times. Yes, I understand that. Maybe move you this way a little bit. Now rotate this. Okay. It keeps hitting my legs. Okay, got it. Hold this, you can release. Yes. Okay, are you holding this with your hand for now? Okay, let me figure this out. I can't keep doing this. 
We are watching you guys. Так, ну теперь приступаем к работе стыковки разъемов. Начинаем с разъема. Proceed to demating the connectors, starting with T16J16A. That's the one. Это стыковочный и последний разъем, с которого снимали крышку. That's the latest one where you remove the cap. The last one. Okay, so the connector has been demated. That's the P16 connector, right? Yes. And then J16A. Okay, so that's the most recent one that we were working with where we removed the cap. Yes, that's correct. I forgot to warn you in advance. I'm sorry. Uh, we are going into the insulation. Um, yeah, we were expecting that. Okay, we are inspecting the connectors. No, FOZ. EMI band is good. Seems good. Speaking English. And the lever is um, all the way in the back. We copy that. You have our go to mate. This cap keeper is full uh, or it looks like we got a bunch of legs. Connector P16 and P, uh, P16A. Yes, go ahead and connect. Full forward over center mated. Full forward over center mated. Are you getting the picture? Yes. Can you confirm one more time that you have mated connectors P16 and J16A? Stand by one. Okay, J16A. I'm seeing P16 on one side. Copy. On the other side, I'm seeing P16. Okay, we copy that. Thank you. Uh, moving on to the next connector. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and cover it with the cover that I had here. Uh, yes. By the way, the push the uh, buttons we never did manage to release, just pushed the cover. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, I've been told that they are tight and they're hard to close. Okay, understood. Now I just need to put it, put the cover back on. Okay, got it. P16 cover. Copy that. Now. We will be mating connectors P16A and J16. Okay. Understand, I have G2 doesn't seem to be the right one. 
B16A made it to to mate to J16. Correct. Made that to connector J16. Same place where you made it this before. So that's the one um, that's subducted on the left side. Is that correct? Yes. Correct. On the plate, you should also have the marks to indicate the connectors. Okay, let me see. No debris detected. Looks good. The reciprocal part. J16 on the left side. I see it on the right. I will copy. Um, you have our go to connect the connectors. Okay. And then the other side of the connector also. No FOD. It's all good. Copy. Please proceed. I have the soft dock over the center and ready to mate, speaking English. Um, okay, you have our go to connect. Copy. It doesn't feel right. It's not all the way to the end. There's still some um, some clearance here. Okay, you mean the one that soft made it, soft docked? Yes. All right. Take a break. Олег, uh, the D rings, you can try to make them tighter a little bit by compressing. Yes, understood. Okay, I can't right now. Uh, on, on this side, it looks better. All right, try to use the same motion. Like Peter did when he was taking off the uh, cap. This is Mission Control Houston, four hours, 31 minutes into uh, the spacewalk today by Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov, the first in a series of spacewalks to outfit and activate the new Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. The uh, two cosmonauts about uh, to connect a pair of uh, power cable bundles to an interface panel at the Zarya module of the International Space Station that will complete the electrical continuity connections uh, between the U.S. Uh, electrical systems on the International Space Station and NIOCA. We're about to, to reacquire our downlink uh, video from the International Space Station, and there we are. Okay. The crew uh, continuing to work uh, as the station flies up the east coast of Africa, moving from southwest to northeast. Okay. 
Yes. Try again. No, try to push. Break here. I feel like it didn't get all the way, um, get pushed all the way here. Can you tell me? The lever. Okay, got it. So, full forward over the center, made it. I see this forward over the center and made it. We copy. We have the third connector left. C2 from the kit, and J2 is the one that is tied nearby. Can you see it? J2. J2. Yes, J2 should be tied here. Close to the coil. Maybe this is the coil that we were thinking was for the Ethernet cables. Is that the right one? Yes, it's. The Ethernet cable is further back. J2. J2. I see the decal. Okay, that's exactly what we needed. J2 to P2. But first you need to remove the cap. Yes, and the cap also here. Okay, so hold this here. It's not going anywhere. It's attached to the hand, uh, to the handrail. Okay, got it. Cap is removed. Copy. Okay, I see the alignment is good. The second connector also it's good. Ready to mate. Ready to mate said in English. Uh, okay, copy. Uh, you can proceed. Copy that. I have the soft dock. Full forward. Full forward. Over the center. Made it. In English. Okay, we copy that. Uh, 
нам, как вы думаете, What надо you... проволочные фиксации где-то подвязывать? Do we need to use the wire ties to, uh, to secure the connector somewhere? Надо посмотреть сейчас. Let me take a look. I don't know. The handrails look good. Looks like we have the connector here. The remaining connectors are mated so that attaches them to each other. Now the um, one in the end is uh, secured with a wire tie also um, to the handrail, so I don't know that we need to do this. If you feel that you need to um, tighten it up a little bit, then we can use a wire tie. Otherwise, I think it's good. Okay, no, don't worry about it. Let's just do our checks. Okay, sounds good. No. No. Okay, going back to its initial position, right? Forward. Yes, correct. Back to the initial. Okay, so the full uh, uh, full forward over center made it correct and uh, uh, use the MLI uh, flaps. Yes, we'll do that. Don't turn anything on. Yes, of course, uh, we are standing by here and we'll activate or turn on anything without your go. Okay, we have covered. Copy. All right. All three connectors have been made. This is Mission Control Houston, four hours, 40 minutes into uh, the spacewalk by Novitsky and Dubrov. Both of the uh, power cable bundle connectors have now been attached and connected uh, successfully to the interface panel at the Zarya module of the International Space Station to uh, complete the electrical circuit, basically, uh, between the U.S. segment of the International Space station and uh, the uh, Naoka multipurpose uh, laboratory module. The end-to-end uh, -end test basically if uh, the power supply uh, between uh, the U.S. segment, the Zvezda service module and Naoka will now be checked out thoroughly. But uh, so far so good uh, in what has amounted to uh, tedious work, however so far successful work by Novitsky and Dubrov to uh, complete the electrical uh, connections between the U.S. segment of the station and the new multi-purpose laboratory module. We made the Ethernet cables after the checkout. Prepare uh, the cable um, in kit number one for mating, meaning removing the connectors or the uh, steering clamps. And the third thing that we want to do is uh, remove the caps from from plate 15-16 and strings and put them back in the crew bag. Okay, the caps, maybe we should wait for sunlight uh, for the caps. Now, with the cables that we can work on now, Oleg, yes, you've worked with connectors quite a lot. If you need some rest, feel free. Uh, we don't want you to get to overdirt yourself. We still have a lot of work to do, and I want we want you to be ready to work with the Ethernet cables. Yes, understood. Now, for the red that we used to use, it's somewhere at the bottom. Do you think you'll be able to pull me a little bit? Pull you, yes. Might be too late. 
Спонсор, ну далеко вас грип собирать не надо. Окей, the grip, don't move it too far. На кип-кипере у нас 10 карабинов. 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 На кип-кипере у нас 10 
And what are we do, doing with the clamp? We will look. Maybe on our side there is one connector and two caps. Yes, so we could do that as well. These clamps are just in the way. These are not really helpful, they're just in the way. Okay. So, I have the cable side up on our side. Copy. And what handrail did you connect it to? Well, it's an unknown cable. I As uh, Novitsky and Dubrov uh, prepare to uh, mate the second of the power cable bundles at the interface panel on the Zarya module, electrical continuity tests are continuing uh, on the first of those two cable bundles that uh, was connected uh, to the Zarya module interface panel a short time ago so far. All indications are that uh, there is a good power continuity uh, between the U.S. segment of the station and the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. Handrail 1050 then. Apparently so. All right. I am removing the cap from connector 321A. Copy. You have our go to remove it. All right, the cap has been successfully removed. And it's on cap keeper. Copy. All right, and I see um, another cable bundle, and it seems to, I think it's the other net cable, the cover is the same, and it's uh, right next to that metal insert, yes, it's going to be, so it's going to be on the left side uh, from that uh, metal structure, if you're looking from the Russian segment, yes, and it's uh, coiled up. Let me try and check what, check its name. Copy. Her. I'm going to attach two caps. Once again, at the four hour, 51 minute mark in the uh, spacewalk, Novitsky and Dubarov are preparing the second of the two power cable bundles to be connected to an interface panel at the Zarya module interface uh, with pressurized mating adapter number one on the International Space Station. The first of those two power cable bundles was connected successfully and electrical checks are continuing so far. All indications are that we have a good electrical flow and good continuity between the U.S. segment electrical systems and the Nyoka multipurpose laboratory module. It's J578. The only numbers that I can see is 78. I can't see the rest. Copy. So the name of that third connector is uh, not quite visible. Right, I see it. Connector number three, P, Papa 21A. Yes, that is exactly uh, the correct connector. And J. Five, seven, eight. 
and if we're moving in our direction, okay, let's, I just wanted to say that my um, tether is uh, sufficiently long. That's good news, Oleg. All right, and the comm is kind of ready. Well, we switched to VHF. Copy. That is um, surprising. It's unintelligible. Intelligible. We copy Piotr. So here we have the MLI that's covering the connector, J5-75. The cap um, is no longer on the connector, but it's securely attached to the handrail. Um, you can leave it there if it's securely connected, or was it just uh, dumb luck that it's still there? No, it's securely connected there. All right, then just leave it there. So, so what do we do with all the caps? Do we need to uh, take them with us? Or we can... Yes, we, you do need to make sure that they're secure. Okay, so the connector. I can, um, once I'm ready and prepped, I can actually mate the connectors. Is that right? Yes. And um, based on your report, um, you have everything correct, and you can um, proceed with mating the connectors. Copy. And I am ready to remove the caps from the two remaining connectors. All right, and I am pull forward and center, and I am removing and I'm removing the cap. And just wanted to know that it's going to be the end of the orbital night in about 10 minutes. Copy. The cap has been removed. Pull forward now. Center. And the full aft center. We copy, and I'm um, removing the cap.
Right, the connectors are, have been prepped and the caps have been removed. We copy. So, sir, do you need a break? Yeah, he probably will benefit from one. Yes. Take a break, and I just came up with a with an idea of what else you can do. Right. You're not going to leave me alone here. You are too handy to leave you alone. Okay, I have it mated. Great, Oleg, thank you. Now, please remove the MLI cap belt, and then um, tell me if you need to secure, to make it even more secure, or if what you did is um, sufficient. Well, I would say I think we should make it a little bit more secure. Great. Then let's secure it where it's convenient. Sounds good. And Oleg, uh, the cap for that connector has been secured on the other side as well, right? Yes, it's on the other side of the MLI. Also, you can actually kind of um, nest all those caps into one another. That's not really um, secure, but um, we did manage to kind of nest them into each other. This is Mission Control Houston, five hours, one minute into uh, the spacewalk by Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov. Everything continuing to go well. The uh, electrical checkout of the first of the uh, power cable bundles now mated to an interface panel at the Zarya module is ongoing. So far, so good with all of those indications. And an Ethernet cable has now been hooked up. That Ethernet cable uh, hooked up uh, to provide uh, that capability uh, between the U.S. segment of the International Space Station and the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module. The crew will wait for the electrical checkouts of the first power cable bundle to be complete before they move on to mate the second of the two power cable bundles to that same interface panel at the Zarya module. Да, и значит. 
All right, the cables uh, have been tied securely and copiolic. Then you now need to take a break. Agreed. I wouldn't say no. So we are proceeding with our checkouts. So, and also there are uh, Ethernet cable checkouts. I don't have the results yet, but while you are waiting, um, I have uh, two suggestions for you, first of all. You can uh, put the tra uh, put, uh, adjustable uh, tethers and the hooks uh, into uh, the trash bag. And since you notice that uh, the handrail is uh, kind of wobbly, you... You can um, actually secure the um, pipe pole or hand pike to the handrail. And for I'm not sure if I'm getting uh, the high resolution video uh, from my camera. Well, I have to get, uh, tell you a secret, guys. For all that, the duration of the EVA, we've been getting high res from Piotr's camera and low res from Oleg, Oleg. And I am being told that. Uh, uh, the uh, length of the Ethernet cable has uh, indeed increased and that we um, successfully performed the checkouts. So Mark has just confirmed it. This is awesome. Thank you, Moscow. And thank you, Mark. And for that... Um, Oh, for that pole, where do you want us to secure it? Well, you can secure it with the cable bundle number one. And I will have to um, crawl over Estrella one more time, not the most convenient route. Yeah, uh, Piotr, um, you can actually close um, the anchor of the Strela boom, and maybe it will be a little bit uh, more convenient. Well, not really. At least I can hold on to something, but if it's closed, then I don't have anything to grab. This is Mission Control Houston, five hours, six minutes into uh, the spacewalk. Yeah. You're looking at uh, Piotr Dubrov uh, wearing the suit with the blue stripes at the top of your screen. Oleg Novitsky wearing the suit with the red stripes at the bottom of your screen as they uh, work uh, to remove caps for the second of the two power cable bundles that uh, will complete the electrical connections to an interface panel on the Zarya module of the International Space Station and uh, provide the correct routing of power from uh, the U.S. segment of the station to the new Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. The first of those two power cable bundles uh, was mated to that interface panel a short time ago. Electrical checks are ongoing and so far all is in order. Good electrical continuity being reported. We are going to wait until those checks are complete before the mating of the second power cable bundle is uh, undertaken by uh, Novitsky and Dubrov. Do you see it? An Ethernet cable has also been connected uh, All right, then that will provide uh, that capability to the Naoka module. 
Would you have to go back? The uh, two cosmonauts uh, working in the first of uh, what amounts to 11 spacewalks to outfit and activate uh, this new module which was launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on July 21st, arriving at the station for its automated docking to the Russian segment of the complex on July 29th. Nayuka, 43 feet long, 23 tons of mass to serve as a science laboratory, a second airlock for Russian spacewalks, and a docking port for multiple vehicles, courtesy of a new node module called Prishal that will be launched uh, later this year from Baikonur and which will dock uh, to the Nader port of uh, Naoka to provide uh, a multi-functional uh, capability for multiple vehicles arriving at the International Space Station. What they can, oh, uh, something next to O-ring. Wow, that's some interference, guys. I didn't copy anything you said. Could you please check on the O-rings? The O-rings may have, uh, what, what is, and where, some rings? Yes, O-ring. Could you please verify that there are no O-rings left? What, what, um, MLI um, rings or some other ones? The O-rings, O-rings. Okay, I'm checking the first one. Don't see its uh, name and number. It's 721A and P21. So, they do look good? Yes. The rubber seals and everything, yes, they look good. Second connector P3. Everything's looking good there as well. Copy. MLI. No O rings there. So everything's looking good. Thank you so much for confirmation. And P3 is also looking good. I hope we're going to get good come back and you'll be out of this interference zone. We hope so too. My fingers are a little bit cold. Uh, too, like, cold? Well, kind of chilly. I can put the, I can hold the, hold on to the handrail and warm them up. Let's think what we're going to do with the connectors of the, uh, no, for number one. Uh, Oleg, Peter, who is going to do them? Well, I have a short red connected to the handrail. So I think it's going to be easier. This is Piotr, for me to work with the cable bundle one. Well, Piotr, if uh, it's not too much to ask, could you take care of them? Well, if uh, it's a matter of choice, uh, the choice is all the, the right to choose is always there. So, we'll start with the connector that's on, yeah. with the lateral connector, right? Uh, it's P21. Yes, it's P21 and J21. But, but don't start... Yes. They, um, 
We still haven't cut power to them. Okay, I'm just checking that these are the right connectors, and I see that, yes, indeed, they are P1 and J1. And could you please look for J3? It should be uh, free of anything. Yes, there is a connector next to these two. Do you think that connector can reach um, all the way to our connector? And you have our go to remove the cap as well. Okay? I don't see any markings on it yet, but hold on, it is J3. Great, that's what we need. Okay? And now we need the cap keeper and figure out how to get to it with the cap keeper. Okay. I have a long red and it would be really good to move it a little bit and move over there. And I grab the handrail here. And it's honestly, I have to basically hold myself with one hand so that I don't float away and try and fish that cap for that cap keeper with the other. Not the most convenient configuration. All right. That's pretty tight. Peter, I can take pictures of the connectors while you are taking a break. Uh, Artyom, maybe while I'm just... Uh, Hanging out here with nothing to do, I can take a, I can snap a few pictures of the connectors. Well, we need the final configuration. Okay, I understand. Hooray, I got the cap keeper on. Thank you. Now I need to press around it. Okay, the hands are not really listening to my commands anymore. I am really sorry, but they're telling me that there is no need in opening that um, uh, cap. Oh, that's too late, guys, but I guess uh, I haven't removed it yet. Piotr, Piotr, let, that, let that connector go. You shouldn't touch it. It's live. Okay. Well, there is a chance that it's live, but we decided to stay safe. Okay, um, I'll leave it be, um, but I'll, I'll let me keep the cap keeper on it for now. Okay, sounds good. is arranged here. Right. What did you say? The wrenches. Okay. 
Saying in Russian. The windows in the cupola are all open, so they're probably looking at us. No, that's... Is it beam? Uh, the wire card is not cooperating. was um, the um, start and the end of that whole process. Well, you are aiming for a historically important quote. Well, maybe we should turn off the lights. That they're not designed for this way of operation and a whole long maybe uh, and we don't know what time you will be uh, retracting this chalice so it might be during the eclipse so it would be better uh, if you uh, turn it off right prior to closing the hatch. Okay, copy. We'll do. This is Mission Control Houston, five hours, 20 minutes into uh, the spacewalk by Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov. They are uh, working uh, to prepare the second of the two power cable bundles at the Zarya module of the International Space Station. The first uh, of these two uh, power cable bundles uh, was installed and mated uh, to an interface panel at Zarya. Uh, and electrical checkouts are continuing uh, between uh, the U.S. segment electrical systems and the new Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. The two cosmonauts also uh, made it an Ethernet cable for Naoka at this work site. Uh, that was checked out and uh, was verified to be good. And uh, they are simply waiting now until uh, the electrical checkouts of the first power cable bundle are complete before they press ahead to install and mate the second of the two power cable bundles that uh, will complete the electrical continuity path uh, between the U.S. segment and Naoka. We're not going to be able to make it by the time, but then, yes, of course, it would be uh, preferable to take photographs during the insulated part of the orbit, even though it might not be the final configuration possible. Right now, um, why wouldn't we... Why, why don't we take uh, photographs? I think on my side I can take photographs of how they're routed in the direction of LGB. We didn't do much uh, photography today at all. If you have uh, several minutes available, uh, the batteries are still charged. Well, what do, you, what do you mean we didn't take photographs? I did take some. Well, it doesn't even count. It was, there were so few. Yes, I didn't take I didn't take too many. Where is the camera? Let us figure out how it is going to operate. Uh, it should be, you should be able to see uh, the linking. Okay, how do I pull it out in such a way that I can take photograph covering the entire view? Look at 
look over look over it here. Oh, uh, it's still covered by the glass. Let me turn around. There we go. Here are the connectors. Ethernet. Ethernet. Tom, are we able to secure the vice grips uh, to the small hook that is currently uh, here on the winch? Yes, no problem. If it's convenient, uh, then that's not a problem as long as they're secured. Let's try it. Peter, uh, what about the rope and the um, uh, caps? Are we going to put them in, or is it not a very convenient location for that operation? Well, they're not in the way, but it, if we're going to need to work with other uh, caps, then it would be prefer, and I feel like we're going to have to do it next. Then it would be better to put this all away. I have secured device grips. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, once again, uh, the two cosmonauts, uh, Novitsky and Dubarov, are taking a bit of a breather, awaiting uh, the final uh, checkouts uh, per the checklist of all of the electrical continuity paths uh, between the newly installed uh, power cable bundle, the first of these two power cable bundles at the Zarya module, providing electrical continuity and a path for electrical flow between uh, the U.S. segment of the station and the Nayuka multipurpose laboratory module. Once uh, those electrical checks are complete, which should be any time now, 
they'll press ahead to, to mate uh, the second of the two power cable bundles to that interface panel on Zarya and then await uh, the electrical checkout of that path. And we're going to switch the uh, connect bundles uh, and the connections of the second bundle into a safe configuration. That, that's, uh, we ran it a little bit ahead, but that's what we're going to do at this time. Okay, sounds good. So we're approaching um, the moment when we're going to re resume our operation. Okay, uh, sounds good. That's great news. So, uh, Peter, you think, you think we're not going to put in, uh, away any of the caps? and the uh, uh, ropes, uh, leave it as is. Oh, if Oleg uh, can help, if we can reach each other right now. And uh, reports coming in from the Russian Mission Control Center that the electrical checkouts for the first of the two power cable bundles is now complete, everything checked out in good shape at the five and a half hour mark in today's spacewalk. And we plan. So we're going to to uh, reduce the number of tasks, so we're not going to take photographs of the X3, X4 connectors. We are not going to install virus container, at least today. And we're not going to install the handrails for 300 and what else are we going to do? And we are not going to perform, uh, do the final retraction of this trailer from the Hendro 2124. What we are are going to do on uh, our goal, when I get my goal, we're going to mate uh, bundle number one test. Then we're going to move uh, the trailer to Pahawo to Hendro 2124. One, two, four, then uh, you're going to route Ethernet cable, make Ethernet cable, and along the way, you're going to install one of the three handrails, uh, 4005. Is it in kit? Is it in bundle number? Is it in kit number one? Yes. Speaking simultaneously. So I was thinking maybe we should install all three uh, handrails if I. I have to translate there with the handrails uh, tied up over there. It's going to be very inconvenient. It will slow me down. I copy your uh, comments, uh, Peter. So let's uh, see how it works and play it by ear for now. I understand that on panel 17, there's not enough space for both of you to work at the same time. Uh, we will decide uh, as we go. Okay, sounds good. So it's desirable uh, for you to take photographs of the cargo vehicle antenna. I do not know at what time you will be translating to MRM2. Uh, if it's going to, when you're going to be on the operator post, it's going to be during the insulated part of the orbit and the end of uh, translating the show. So we would, we would like to understand what time we can take photographs of the antenna, whether it's going to be after moving Strela there or after you go to room 2. Okay. Sounds good. Just give us a go and we'll do it. Okay, we'll uh, watch it as we go. Sounds good. Did you perform mention steps, so maybe we will not need to free up the adjustable uh, links to the I don't remember which hook it's attached to, uh, Peter. It's on the large red hook. I forgot the main thing. We are going to jettison the 
Хотим. All right, cable reel after uh, we route the cable. Также мы обязательно не забываем. Copy, sounds good. Also, we need to make sure we inspect the spacesuits. You actually can uh, actually look at the spacesuits because we already have gone to the work area. This is Mission Control Houston, five hours, 33 minutes into the f spacewalk today by uh, Novitsky and Dubrov. Russian flight controllers uh, providing an overview of uh, the remaining work for the two cosmonauts outside. Dubrov on your left, Novitsky on your right, as they prepare to uh, install the second of the two power cable bundles at an interface panel at the Zarya module of the International Space Station that will uh, complete the electrical uh, hookup of the uh, power path uh, between the U.S. segment of the station and the Nayuka multipurpose laboratory module. With the uh, crew running slightly behind the timeline at this point, the uh, Russian flight controllers have decided to delete the deployment and installation of a platform with several containers of uh, biological sample experiments that had been planned uh, for the Poisk module. That task will be taken up on a future Russian spacewalk, as well as the installation of three handrails uh, along the uh, Naoka module. That too will be deferred to a later spacewalk with no impact to operations. The uh, jettisoning of an Ethernet cable reel that housed uh, the Ethernet cable that was hooked up a short time ago and is working fine uh, to provide that capability to Naoka. That will be conducted, that cable reel to be jettisoned retrograde from the station with no possibility of recontact uh, with the orbital outpost. Well, it's hard to uh, contaminate the bottoms of the feet, of the boots. This rope is flopping around as if it's windy. Which rope? Uh, the cable? The cable that I have near my left arm, and there's the orange rope. Oh, I see.
Go ahead. Да, мы получили добро. We received the goal. Номер один. Uh, to start working with the bundle number one. Let's start. Uh, let's, we have 17 minutes until the eclipse. Let's make good use of our time. So we just we need to also take photographs. Copy. Тогда первым делом So first and foremost. Стоит 21. Я не предварительно стыковки. 21 connector uh, move to the premate position. There was a calm dropout. This is Mission Control Houston, five hours, 39 minutes into the spacewalk. Uh, the two cosmonauts have been given the green light to press ahead uh, with the mating of the second of the two power cable bundles at the Zarya interface panel that, uh, once completed, will complete uh, all of the electrical hookup work that uh, will route power from the U.S. segment of the station all the way to the new Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. I have crew work bag, it's closed. Okay, releasing. Let me move it to the side. Opening the MOI from the connector. Uh, checking the labeling to confirm. Copy. I don't see any labeling. So we're watching. Okay, copy. Full forward. Full forward. Over center. Over center. I am ready to move it to full aft. Uh, copy. Go ahead and do it. Transition into full aft. Remove the MOI uh, flaps uh, from the P21 connector and start to demate. So we have full aft over center. So starting to demate P21 uh, from the side of the FGB. Full forward over center. Full forward over center. So we have full left over center. So docked, ready to demate. A copy, go ahead. The mating. The connector is demated. And right now we are uh, mating J21A uh, to the connector you just demated, which is P21. Copy. P3. Uh, P3 is the one facing MRM uh, 2. P3 is 
C3 is on this from this side. I found a J21. You can make those. J21 on the So J21 on the panel. Oh, did you mean the cable that was disconnected from the made it from the connector, uh, made it to the connector over there? So it's, when we're here, I think it's more convenient to made it there. So P21A slash J21, um, making to uh, P21 on the on the panel, a J21 on the panel. Yes, the plate has the connector J21. Copy. I don't see the labeling well where P21 was made previously. Copy. You have already performed the inspection. You have already reported the results, so you can uh, perform self-doc. I'm inspecting the connector itself once again. There is no FOD on the connector and the pins are normal. I am going to perform self-dock at this time. Go ahead. Should I uh, hold it? Let me see. Let me see how it's easier to apply some force. I have to turn it. Yes. I know. I can hold you. Thank you. Two cosmonauts, Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov, both in their second spacewalks of their careers, uh, continuing uh, to work uh, with the installation and mating of the second of the two power cable bundles to a power interface panel on the Zarya module of the International Space Station. The uh, Russian flight control team in uh, Karlyov outside Moscow told the two cosmonauts a short time ago that uh, due to the length of the work uh, that is ongoing, lesser priority activities, including uh, the installation of some handrails on the Danyoka module and uh, the deployment of an experiment uh, container, actually three experiment containers on the outside of the Poisk module, uh, would be deferred until a later spacewalk. Made it. Copy. J21, C21. Now, P21 that we demade it needs to be mated to the connector that is facing the Russian segment. Am I correct? Yes, J21A. So we're matching J21A slash J21. And the one that is demated from the panel, I do not see the labeling. Okay, here on the flap, it's P21. Okay. 
doing a self doc. I'm ready to transition it to self doc position. Okay, go ahead and transition it. Go ahead. У нас остается порядка 7 минут. Что? Вы Okay. So. Let me see here. I have a sense that the camera is not coming on. You think the battery is um, discharged? Yes. Maybe because of the cover. Okay, I will try to photograph whatever I can. Okay. So, okay, forward and center mated. Okay, we copy, Peter. Also, we have the next container, container, which is the J3 one. Yes, got it. Okay, let me mate this, then I will close the MLI. Yes, I think it will be better if we do this a little earlier and then you can cover during the checkout. Олег, а там светодиод не моргает и не наблюдает. Олег, the LED is not flashing, right? I'm trying to see. Не видно. And I can't see it. It's not visible. Переход в сторону поста оператора потихоньку. Okay, so we are transitioning toward the operator post. And now Peter is doing the imagery. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it will be clear here from this side what the condition the condition is of the camera, whether the LED is blinking or not. Okay, I like that's fine. Uh, let's just translate to the operator post. Copy that. Okay, so I have um, I have tied the four the, the tied the to the handrail. This looks good here from the other side. Is a good in my end. No FOD. Good thing. Ready to mate. 
Okay. We have uh, about three minutes of light left. Yes, okay, I have this soft dock ready to move forward. Let's go ahead. I have the full forward over center J3. Yes, I confirm. Okay, now you need to um, unclear due to interference. Okay, we copy that. Full forward over center, ready to move it. Full forward, a full forward over center, confirmed. Mating confirmed. Copy that, Peter. We have two minutes till the eclipse. Can you take a few pictures with the camera? Uh, yes, let me try. Okay. Since Oleg has a discharge battery, we suspect we're going to try to uh, save yours to take pictures of the progress antennas. Okay, got it. I don't know. I think it's just that you can't see with all the sunlight and everything. This is Mission Control Houston as we approach the six-hour mark in the uh, spacewalk by Oleg Novitsky and uh, Pyotr Dubrov. Uh, the report is uh, that the second uh, power cable bundle has now been mated to the interface panel on the Zari module and uh, that Russian flight controllers will be all set here momentarily to begin okay. the methodical checkout of the electrical continuity of uh, that second of the two power cable bundles all the way to the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. The first of the uh, power cable bundles uh, was mated uh, about two hours ago and it has checked out uh, to uh, provide uh, good electrical continuity, a good electrical path all the way from the U.S. segment to Naoka. Now the checkout uh, will begin for the second of the two power cable bundles. Okay. I have attached both tethers. In order to transition to the operator post. Okay. Right now, we take a break here. We will wait for Peter. Peter, you can turn off the camera. Yes. And cover the M MLM. MLI. Okay. I will connect it, one of the hooks to the crew bag. Okay, and then the flap here.
computer. Uh, you can go ahead and cover the uh, P1G1 flap, MLI flap, yes. It's very tight. It might not be fully tightened. It doesn't have to be uh, fully tightened. Whatever you have is fine. That's enough. Okay, I understood. Six hours total for EVA right now. We copy. I have covered the connector with the MLI flap, copy that, we can confirm that all three caps, J3, P3, um, J21, and, um, and P21, J21A are mated, all three of them are in place and covered with the MLI flap, yes. So I can confirm that. Copy. Thank you very much. Computer, uh, please uh, transition to the anchor. Copy that. I don't think that we need to um, use the restraint tethers. Here, everything looks good on this side. Yes, I think it's attached to 1031. Yes, I will start translating back. Copy that, Oleg. Go ahead and translate to the operator post. We're not going to collapse the trailer at this time until my go. We need to do an additional check. Okay, I copy that. Now, while translating, be careful. Take, um, take special care in the area of the antennas and where you worked. Okay, I copy that. I have everything visible. Do you need additional lighting from the Orlan, maybe? No, I don't think so. I am moving strictly along this trail. I have the antenna to the left. Looks like a cone. We copy.
This is Mission Control Houston, six hours, five minutes into today's spacewalk by the two cosmonauts, Novitsky and Dubrov. They have uh, completed the installation and the mating of uh, a second of two power cable bundles at the Zarya interface panel to provide electrical continuity and a path uh, for power uh, between the U.S. segment of the station and the newly arrived uh, Naoka multipurpose laboratory module, which docked to the station five weeks ago go. Checkouts uh, of the electrical connections and the connectivity uh, between that second power cable bundle and Naoka are continuing at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow. The, the um, tasks uh, left for the crew for the remainder of this spacewalk uh, will include uh, the uh, stowing of the Australia telescoping boom uh, that uh, the cosmonauts used to, to maneuver from the Poisk module all the way down to Zarya earlier in today's spacewalk. They will also jettison uh, the cable reel in which an Ethernet cable was stowed. That will be jettisoned retrograde to the station with no chance for recontact to the orbital outpost. to the operator post. Tasks uh, that uh, will be deferred, however, to a later spacewalk of a lower priority. The installation of uh, several handrails on the uh, Naoka module, that will not be conducted today because of the length of the work involved with the power routing that the cosmonauts have undertaken. They also uh, will defer the deployment of an experiment platform package on uh, the Poisk module. That will be also deferred to a later date. And uh, some external photography of the Russian segment of the station uh, is unlikely to be undertaken by the cosmonauts on today's spacewalk. They will be back out uh, of the uh, Poisk airlock next Thursday in the second of what is expected to be up to 11 spacewalks to outfit Naoka. The uh, the spacewalk uh, next Thursday, September 9th, by Novitsky and Dubrov will uh, feature the uh, stringing of a uh, high-frequency cable uh, to provide a television system capability for Naoka, uh, the establishment of a cable uh, between uh, the Zvezda service module and Naoka uh, that is called an antenna feeder unit uh, that will provide uh, automated uh, rendezvous uh, docking and uh, data telemetry for the Russian flight controllers and for vehicles approaching the International Space Station's Naoka module for docking. They also will install a cable uh, from uh, the uh, telemetry system on Zvezda and uh, a similar system on the Naoka module and will install a platform with adapters uh, that uh, will facilitate future spacewalk activities on the outside of the new Naoka module. So work continues at timeline uh, possibly may be uh, updated and revised between now and next Thursday based on the uh, two or three tasks of a lower priority that the cosmonauts will not have time to fulfill today.
влажное масло. Это расфиксирую его пока. И дальше ожидаем команду. I have reached the PDGF. Okay, let me uh, get secured on it. Принято, да. И yes, copy that. И в ожидании команды можно будет шелок себе снять. Yes, uh, go ahead and get secured on it, to it, and then while we will have a minute, you can uh, go ahead and secure the crew lock bag as well. Okay, I'm at the operator post. Copy, Oleg. Now, I wanted to confirm with you that you are seeing the structural elements and you can see Pyotr and Strela. And you can, we can work with this Strela safely. Give me a second. Yes, I am observing this trail of course. I can't see the clearance between Peter and the object, but everything that could be in the way, I have a good visual on. Okay. All right, let's check what's working for you. Uh -huh. Okay. Just a second. Bye. I have um, unlocked this trailer. Copy. Okay, so did you get enough rest? This is where I'm starting to rest. So I'll just be very calm. Yes, uh, go ahead and take some time to rest. Okay. Yeah, it's not working. I keep pushing the button and it's, it's not doing anything. Okay, copy that. So that means we're left with one only. With one camera. Yes. Unfortunately. Okay, and uh, how long are you pressing it for? Well, about three or four seconds. It just feels like it's stuck. It won't get pushed. All right, let me try again. Let me push. Pushing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, zero. Okay, we're done with the glitter. Okay. Well, keep in mind that it's not very robust, especially for the EVA. Yes, so last time it was doing fine throughout the entire EVA. I don't know if it was this exact camera or which one. Yes. I think even the batteries are the same. It's the same one. Okay, we'll take a look at it. It is possible that it accidentally got turned on and just kept firing, and that's how the battery emptied out. Okay, that's possible. Okay, I am ready to transfer. Hold on, we haven't received the confirmation yet. Okay, understood. 
есть вероятность, что придется обратно идти. Are you saying that there is a possibility we'll have to retrace our steps? steps? <laughs> Такое место жуткое, конечно. This place is pretty scary for moving around. Get over here. What a mess here. Maybe while you're waiting, you can use one of the handrails from the kit and secure the handrail. Well, it's not really convenient because it's not going to be one kit, there will be two. Now I can at least have some control over it. No, I started saying that and saying that and then as I was saying, I realized it's not the best of ideas. This is Mission Control Houston, six hours, 19 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. A good uh, view of uh, Pyotr Dubrov at the top of your screen, joined by Oleg Novitsky. They uh, have installed uh, both power cable bundles uh, on an interface panel, a power panel basically on the Zarya module of the International Space Station. Final electrical checkouts of that uh, power continuity all the way to the Naoka a multi-purpose laboratory module are continuing. So far, all the reports are good. The uh, two uh, cosmonauts are in the process of preparing the uh, Strela telescoping boom that they use to move from one worksite uh, to the other uh, for various tasks. They are uh, preparing to at least tether that down to a handrail on the Zvezda service module in preparation for their next spacewalk next Thursday outside of the Poisk module airlock. They uh, will reassess once they get that done whether or not they want to uh, retract uh, Strela all the way and tie it down to uh, the Poisk module itself uh, where it uh, normally resides or whether they will leave it at the Zvezda service module. So uh, the Russian flight controllers are assessing uh, the remaining time uh, that they feel comfortable with for the cosmonauts uh, to continue today's work. But the major activities, the uh, 
mating of all of the power connectors and the installation of two power cable bundles uh, for electrical continuity from the U.S. segment of the station to the uh, new Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. That's all complete. Uh, with the final checkouts of the second of the two power cable bundles uh, continuing. Which means we, you are go for operations with the Estrella, which means that all the connectors were mated correctly. Great. Thank you so much for your confirmation. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's try to lift it up um, your eyes and then roll. Copy. All right, it is not secure, secured anymore, starting movement. Do you see if there are any discrepancies or anything? No, I can't see it well. Hold on. And there are some loose ends from the kit. Right, just a little bit more. I have it in a locked position. I think we're looking good here. My antenna is visible. The solar arrays are also visible. And there should be enough space for us to move. What did you say, Artyom? So, the solar arrays are configured now so that as if uh, you would move to the original location. Today we're starting the pitch movement.
вижу солнечные батареи. I am monitoring the distance to the solar rays. Is everything going well? Just seamless. Maybe that's enough for now. Maybe. But it will be visible only when we fold it. Well, and then we can raise it. Okay, I am full stop for pitch and um, stop and then retraction. Copy. Петр, tell me if you have a clear sight on everything. Well, especially for pitch. It's going to be difficult for me to see as well. Well, I'll take it step by step. And I confirm the retraction. Is in progress. So in three minutes, guys, um, you are going to have sunrise. Copy. So, are we passing by the solar rays? Yes, and the distance is more than enough. I'm monitoring the situation. Copy. Do you see the docking location on Pecheo, where we are supposed to stop? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, I'm, we're moving pretty slowly, and the distance is pretty big. Uh, okay, I am approaching the solar rays. Copy. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, we are on the cusp of the six and a half hour mark in today's spacewalk. Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov are moving the Estrela telescoping boom to the Zvezda service module where it is likely to be stowed until it is used again uh, next Thursday when the two cosmonauts venture back outside the Poisk airlock. Okay. You can see Poisk uh, there in the middle of your screen. It is mated to the space-facing port of the Zvezda service module. Use is limited. The uh, work uh, has been completed uh, to route and mate two significantly complex power cable bundles. First uh, power connectors uh, were mated uh, to the new Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. Then the two cosmonauts worked in tandem to mate uh, two cable bundles to a power interface panel on the Zarya module to uh, provide electrical continuity from the U.S. segment of the station all the way to Naoka. That is left on the cartridge and the lifetime of the cartridge is 10 hours so everything is fine okay copy I am passing by the location where the pressurized container was installed during the previous CVA Copy. Unintelligible. And you are getting into the insulation now. The sun is rising. Yes, we see that. And I see 
the Pejero area. It's closed with the targets for now, but I do see it. Copy. Maybe it is time to lift um, the pitch. Do you mean your? Okay, let me check. So first you need to lift it up. And then and then you do the your maneuver for Pehoa. Well I, it seems like your is fine. We also we we only have the antenna target, the solar rays. Okay, I can't see anything with the sun hitting right at me in the eyes. All right. Okay, so the your maneuver then sounds good. Well. You guys decide. You see it better than we do. Okay. Well, they just told me that cable bundles one and two, um, all those connectors are working, uh, everything's fine and working great. Just got the report for you guys. Copy. Для информации Петру, Петр, у тебя скоро тоже появится сообщение патрона. And the message that the lifetime of the cartridge is limited. Just uh, monitor if there are any changes. Right? Do you see how is the movement? Do you see the solar rays? Yes. We're about unintelligible centimeters away. Copy. And I don't even think that we need um, any pitch adjustments. Yes, I think everything is looking really, really good. Maybe we need to retract it, so fold the boom a little bit more. Yeah. Let's move like a, a, another 20, 30 degrees, and then we can check. And we can see the area between the targets really clearly. Copy. That is good news. But we do need to retract the boom a little bit, and trail a little bit. And I got the same message about the... Car. And uh, as we pass 6 hours 35 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk, the reports from the Russian Mission Control Center, and you heard them relayed up to the two cosmonauts, is that all of the uh, okay. checkouts of the electrical path uh, between the two power cable bundles and uh, the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module have now been successfully completed. So we have an excellent... Uh, a power path from both uh, power cable bundles all the way from the U.S. segment of the station to uh, the new Naoka module.
and I am braking. Right about this way for now. Now let's uh, retract it a little bit. Copy. So now... Like a 15 or 16 degrees to the side. All right. That's good. And we are retracting it. The two cosmonauts uh, continue uh, to work uh, methodically in the uh, retraction and stowage of the Strela telescoping boom that they used to, to transport themselves from the Poisk module down to the Zarya module for the uh, completion of the power cable bundle installation at the interface panel, the power panel basically on the Zarya module that took place earlier in today's spacewalk. Okay, let's uh, try and lower it like this, okay? And the brakes are on. And let's uh, lower it. Принято. Copy. And maybe we need to adjust the yaw a little bit more. Yes. How are your feet? Yes, guys, for you, you need to take it a little bit more to the left. Yeah, we do agree. Well, to the left is not going to work. We will adjust as needed. And we are passing between the targets really carefully. Well, we wanted you to lower it a little bit. Okay. Okay, so you are and then to the left a little bit. All right, and I will move slowly. We're going to be in, a, in an area where there may be some interferences, calm interferences, one more time. Copy. All right, that's uh, enough. And brakes are on, and basically we are we secured on the um, pitch side. So, um, what's the distance between the um, boom of the? Target and the end effector of the Strela, and about 20 centimeters. Okay, copy. And stop. I was wrong a little bit. We need to fold it a little bit, retract it a little bit more. Just a tad. At the top on the, the top is more challenging. Okay. I think that's enough for now. And full stop. And now you want me to move a little bit down, right? Yes. And you can actually. Stop it like this. Okay. 
Just a little bit. The um, red is pretty long. And like that, like this, it's not going to be too loose. All right, the brakes are on. Artyom, we are done with the translation of the Strela. And now you need to... Oleg, you need to start moving and guys don't forget about the Reds. Okay, copy. Петра, у тебя Петр. оборудование э, остались еще проволочные фиксаторы? Do you have any wire ties left on your in, among your tools? Хорошо. Well, I haven't used up anything, so I have all, them all. Great. Then, to help Oleg, we need to secure the wire tie. So, so we need to secure Strela to the handrail. And once Strela is secured to the handrail, you can translate to 4006 handrail on MLM. Copy. Yeah, the target is like super conveniently located here. Okay, and while you are approaching the TU, STU, the safety device, look at PDGF. Well, let me try. Hold on. Six hours, 45 minutes into today's spacewalk, a good view of Oleg Novitsky as uh, he uh, wraps up uh, the stowage of the uh, Strela telescoping boom outside of the Poisk module of the International Space Station. 
He and uh, Piotr Dubrov have uh, completed all of the uh, power cable routing work to provide electrical continuity between uh, the U.S. segment electrical systems on the station and the new Neuka multipurpose laboratory module. All of the checkouts of the electrical continuity to Neuka have proven to be uh, excellent. No issues uh, regarding uh, the routing of all of the electrical uh, pathing uh, that uh, was uh, the primary goal of today's spacewalk uh, by Novitsky and Dubrov. They will be back outside the International Space Station next Thursday to continue routing other cables uh, for Naoka as the outfitting of the new module continues. That will be the second of some 11 spacewalks planned to outfit Naoka and get it up and running uh, for future use. And it's actually... Um Grabbing onto the um, Australia. slide wire lanyards. And so, should I move along the boom? But then I'm not sure how do I get back. Artem, Artem did you copy? Uh, could you repeat your last? So, our slide wire lanyards are in the way of the movement of the safety device STU. So, should I move to Piotr together with it? No, you don't. Just move from PDGF uh, using one or two uh, slide wire lanyards, and then you get to the STU, and then you pull it a little bit closer. Okay, copy. Okay, that is true. It's a good idea with the slide wire lanyards, and I think that's going to be sufficient. And I think that's going to be enough for you to be able to reach. Because we need to get on that uh, Ethernet task ASAP. took the kit with the handrails. Pinita. Copy. I have uh, almost uh, er er erected the handrail. 
Now the naval craft. I have almost arrived at the Hendrio 4006. So the racket uh, near Hendrio 4021 attach the wire tie to it. Okay. I don't have an available red. Петр, давай, э, так как ты сегодня проявил чудеса акробатики, uh, uh, крышу, когда here, летела, uh, you cut the cap uh, when it was floating away, uh, you, you have uh, demonstrated miracles of acrobatics, uh, so I'll, I'm going to authorize you to work with the right side without securing yourself additionally, so just uh, make sure you're careful. Inaudible. I have uh, gotten to the reel. You see there is a ring on the uh, handle? Yes. Should I uh, attach it to the adjustable? Or link feather. Could you repeat your last? Yes, adjustable. Yes, I understand. Not adjustable. Yeah. Those two hooks. It has its own um, noose tether. Yes. Принято. А тогда, может быть, и ими и страхуйся. Да? Okay, a copy. Uh, so you can use those to secure yourself as well. Copy. Sounds good. I secured one hook. I'm going to remove the second one and secure it to myself. Copy. I tied the wire tie to the bracket to Hendrio 4, to bracket on Hendrio 4006 uh, near the Hendrio 4021. Copy. Thank you, Peter. Please translate further uh, to install Hendrio 4005. Copy. I'm looking for an installation point. Let me catch my breath. The first one is this circular uh, uh, handrail. Yes. Uh, it's white. Yes, I think they're all the same color. So the handrail got um, caught on the hook. You know, things happen.
with these caps. We need to secure them. How should we do it? Петр, давай сделаем. Да, Питер. Так как у нас проблем сейчас с фиксацией, то есть укладка сейчас зафиксирована будет. So the is going to be secured by the transportation center and for zero zero five and four zero zero five will be secured with the uh, by the red. Okay, copy. So we're going to install it between uh, Andrea 4021 and 4026. Yes, right in front of you, uh, there is a opening where the screw is going to be uh, going into. Okay, copy. How are you? You're asking me? I secured the handrail. I am going to pull it out of the kit. The cable holder is a little bit in the way. I'm going to release the wire ties. I think the reel needs to be secured with the adjustable length tether because it's uh, going to be uh, quite um, uncomfortable working with the hooks. Okay, uh, go ahead and do it. Copy. Inaudible. Right, Tom, I see that the um, handrail uh, snapped shut on the semicircle on the other side, but on this um, side, uh, it's not going over the uh, thread, over the threading, uh, it's not long enough. This is Mission Control Houston. We have just crossed the seven-hour mark in today's spacewalk by Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov. They have successfully uh, mated two uh, power cable bundles from uh, the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module to the uh, Zarya module thus uh, completing uh, the power routing from the U.S. segment of the International Space Station all the way to the new Naoka module. Oleg Novitsky in the field of view right by the Poisk module, the airlock from which he and uh, Pyotr Dubrov emerged uh, seven hours ago to begin this spacewalk, the 242nd, in support of Space Station Assembly maintenance and upgrades. Everything has gone well. Uh, the uh, 
crew uh, running slightly behind on the timeline uh, as uh, the power cable routing work uh, took a bit longer than had been expected. The uh, one activity uh, that has been deferred to a future spacewalk was the deployment of a platform with three biological sample containers outside of Poisk. That will be uh, undertaken on a future spacewalk, no impact to uh, space station operations. The uh, Strela boom that you see uh, just outside of Poisk, uh, that vertical telescoping boom is now secured and stowed to be used for future spacewalking operations. The next uh, time that Novetsky and Dubrov emerge from Poisk will be next Thursday in the second in the series of some 11 spacewalks planned to complete the outfitting of Naoka and its final activation for use. Well, try... You see, I broke uh, torque with the wrench, and then after about three turns, it started moving tight uh, with difficulty. Well, you see, this is a walk that uh, dates back to uh, 2013. Okay, I'll try to uh, continue turning it with the wrench. Can you uh, show that particular latch uh, with the camera? I'm trying. Because we only see the uh, we only see the screw. Well, I see that the latch is closed. So the handrail is not disengaging from the other side. Uh, can you see it now? No, I, it's uh, coming short here. How about now? No, it's not going any further. I guess we're seeing it. Can you see it now? Yes, we see it is stuck. Uh, it is set on the other side. Alex, остановись пока с звонком. Um, Alec, could you uh, pause right now with this uh, block? I feel like I'm actually threading this connection. It's going um, very, with a lot of difficulty. Peter, can you pull out the handrail? Can you pull it out from the uh, uh, screw attachment? It would be very difficult to do. I can try to reach that far. But I would need to apply pressure. I would need to apply pressure to the bottom latch. No, I'm not talking about the latch. I'm talking about the handle where you are uh, rotating with this, where you're turning the screw. Can you extend it there? Yes. Um, would this screw be able to come out, be released, or is it the normal configuration now? It's not a screw that can be removed. Uh, removed, it is for meant for the expansion when you pull by the handle. It should be uh, uh, sufficient uh, to create this opening. Oh, I see it's not going that uh, it's not going out any further. And we see that the uh, handle is uh, secured to the screw, and with the wind nut, it's not reaching out. Try to pull the handle, not the screw. Uh, try to pull, holding on to the handle, not the screw. The handle is not moving any further. It's extended as far as it would go. You see, the screw itself uh, does give a, uh, a little bit, but it's not sufficient. It's not enough length.
The handle is not, I'm not able to pull out the handle any further. And you're not able to turn the screw? Correct. The screw is not fitting into the slot. What about, uh, what about uh, backing out the screw? I tried, but it's, it doesn't seem to be backing out. Okay, uh, Peter, copy. Would you be able to remove the handrail? It is highly unlikely. Because that would require uh, disengaging it from my side so it would float around and go further. And then I would need to reach the other end, press the uh, attach uh, mechanism, and then pull that out. Okay, Peter. Let's do the following. But I can try. Let's try for a couple of minutes. If it doesn't work, then we're going to leave it in place temporarily. Do you think we can try to install it uh, uh, with the other side? But it might make sense, but it ha will have to be removed first. Yes, you're right. Well, I'll try. Just there is nowhere, except the uh, handrail itself, there is nowhere for me to hold on to. Oleg. Oleg? Yes. Go ahead, Artem. Uh, um, go ahead and tighten the wing, the MK wing nut back in. Okay, copy. Well, you probably understand that uh, the decision was made to wrap up the CVA. Uh, uh, copy. The time, uh, your time outside is exceeding seven hours already, and we're starting to run into difficulties. And now I am struggling to reach it. Uh, this handrail is in the way. Right now, it's... Uh, Turning easily. That sounds good. Alex, when you complete the work with the reel, please uh, translate back to the operator post. We're going to fold the, uh, retract the uh, Strela boom. And if you have enough, if you have the time, then please take photographs of the uh, cargo vehicle antennas. Uh, if you have the time, if the eclipse starts by then, and we're going to wrap up the CVA. Okay, copy. There is course antenna above me. It is not allowing me to get to the aft side. Because this handrail is not coming off. Peter. I'm thinking how to remove it. Uh, Peter, let's not think about it. Let's secure it in place temporarily using a wire. Uh, tie it up uh, to, the handra to the handle. And next time, when we're going out with the bundles, then we're going to be on the other side where the kids are going. And then we can work on it. Okay, sounds good. Artem, I am going to uh, go back. I have tightened the wing nut uh, back in, and I secured with two hooks to the handrail. Okay, copy.
Да. Олег? Переходи не на пост оператора, а оператора. Uh, but it would be easier uh, to translate to the operator post the other way. Okay, uh, then go ahead and translate uh, your way, but do not pause. And I have attached the handrail with the wire tie. Great. Move over the boom to the airlock. I would be able to sit under the boom, right? Under the estrella. Yeah, that's up for discussion. In the configuration when it was unfolded, it was possible. But uh, once it's um, all the way unfolded on Teheo, it's not quite clear. Хорошо. Well, I'll be the first to try. Только аккуратно. Good luck and be careful. Нет, не проходит камень на цветок. Nope. Can't squeeze through. Well, maybe we can use a different handrail. Guys, just a little bit more. You are going home. Guys, the calm is going to be ready. We copy, Artyom. It's going to be for about a minute or two. This is Mission Control Houston, seven hours, 15 minutes into uh, the spacewalk by Novitsky and Dubrov, as they are now preparing to wrap up activities and get back inside the Poisk airlock. Uh, they uh, will defer the mating of uh, that ethernet cable to the Naoka module until uh, the next uh, spacewalk in all likelihood. They also uh, were able to install one of three handrails uh, for translation at uh, the uh, location near the Poisk module. They uh, will not be jettisoning uh, the Ethernet cable reel either. That will be put off until uh, another spacewalk downstream. So uh, the uh, tasks uh, that uh, 
the crew was not able to get to because of the length of time required to complete uh, the mating of power cable bundles, which was the primary objective of today's activities, providing electrical continuity between the U.S. segment of the station and the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. They uh, will not uh, mate uh, the Ethernet cable that was installed uh, on the uh, U.S. side uh, of the uh, segment of the International Space Station, that uh, will not be mated uh, to the Naoka module. That will be uh, deferred till the next spacewalk. That's a fairly simple task. They were able to install one of three handrails for translation capability. They uh, will not uh, uh, be jettisoning the Ethernet cable reel. That will be deferred until the next spacewalk as well. And uh, they deferred the uh, a minor task, which was uh, the deployment of a platform with three biological sample experiment containers on the Poisk module. Once again, uh, the major objectives, however, of this spacewalk were successfully completed, that being the uh, mating of uh, power cable bundles uh, and power connectors uh, to the Naoka uh, module, to uh, an interface panel on the Zarya module of the International Space Station, so that uh, now enables U.S. power continuity between uh, the uh, U.S. segment of the station and the new Naoka module. Once uh, Novitsky and Dubarov get back inside uh, the Poisk module airlock, the official end time for a Russian spacewalk will be measured at hatch closure. We'll be standing by for official word on that, and then we'll provide you statistics, uh, updated statistics uh, based on today's spacewalk. The 242nd spacewalk in support of space station assembly maintenance and upgrades. Novitsky and Dubarov will be back outside the Poisk airlock next Thursday for Russian spacewalk number 50, in which they will continue uh, uh, the uh, routing of additional cables, uh, picking up some of the tasks uh, that they could not complete today, that will be added to the timeline next Thursday. And um, the planned tasks already on the timeline for the next Russian spacewalk next Thursday include uh, the installation of um, high frequency cables to uh, enable a television capability from Naoka. The uh, installation of a cable for an antenna feeder unit uh, between the CORE's automated rendezvous system on the Zvezda service module and uh, Naoka's CORE's automated rendezvous system, as well as uh, telemetry cables uh, that will be installed uh, between the Zvezda service module and uh, Naoka, and uh, the continuing uh, installation of platforms and handrails to facilitate future spacewalking capability around the new laboratory module. We are doing the inventory of the tools.
This is Mission Control Houston, now at the 7 hour, 21 minute mark in the uh, spacewalk by uh, Novitsky and Dubrov. In case you're wondering, the uh, longest spacewalk in Russian spacewalking history took place on February 2nd, 2018 by Alexander Mazurkin and Anton Shkaplerov who, uh, interestingly enough, Shkaplerov and Mazurkin will be the commanders of the next two Soyuz flights to the International Space Station. That uh, spacewalk during Expedition 54 lasted eight hours, 13 minutes to replace an electronics box on these Vesda service modules, Lyra high uh, gain antenna. And to recap uh, today's spacewalk, uh, the major objective successfully completed, the mating of two power cable bundles uh, between the Zarya module and the new Naoka multipurpose laboratory module, which is now uh, receiving electrical continuity and power from the US segment of the International Space Station. That all went by the book with no issues. What was deferred uh, to a future spacewalk, likely next Thursday, was uh, the completion of the mating of an ethernet cable to Naoka. The cable was partially routed uh, from the US segment uh, to Naoka, but was tied down because uh, we uh, were running out of time here and the crew was running slightly behind with the higher priority activity, which was the routing of the power cables. So they'll pick up uh, the task of completing the mating of uh, that ethernet cable to Naoka on a future spacewalk. They were able to partially install one of three handrails to facilitate future spacewalk translation capability. It's now wire tied down uh, in place near the Poisk module. They uh, were unable uh, to have enough time to take uh, photographs of the exterior of the Russian segment of the station. That uh, task will be picked up as well on a future spacewalk. And uh, they did not uh, jettison uh, the Ethernet cable reel. That will take place once uh, the Ethernet mating process is completed on a future spacewalk. And as we mentioned just a few moments ago, the installation of a platform with three biological sample containers on the Poisk module was also deferred to a later date. But those were all considered to be minor tasks. The major objective, the installation of power cable bundles and their checking out, now providing electrical continuity between the U.S. segment and the new Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. That all was completed and uh, successful uh, installation of uh, those power cables now means that Naoka is receiving good uh, power and good electrical continuity from the U.S. segment of the station. Go ahead. Do you think I should start taking all these bundles from Peter? Do you need to first look around prior to ingressing? Okay, copy, I understand. I need to uh, perform the inspection further along uh, during the insulated part of the orbit where the sunlight is. I am looking at Peter uh, from uh, the front, and I do not see any contamination. Okay, uh, Peter, also, when you get to all of perform the inspection, okay? Okay, I am on the... Uh, in the area near the EV hatch. I'm getting closer to Oleg. I am looking at his front, his pants legs, his boots, his arms. I do not see contamination copy. Peter? 
So you're, I am currently on the translational for uh, Hendry, and I'm on Breathe. Okay. Uh, let's perform the inventory of the attached equipment and uh, check the uh, that you have all the items that you took outside. Everything that are you going to go over everything in the crew bag? Uh, how about I'm going to give you the list and you will uh, confirm that you got it. Okay, go ahead, Artem. Oleg, right, let's start with you. You have the um, OTA and the swing arm. Yes, I confirm. Tether extension assembly is the uh, uh, rope for the winch and it's installed, correct? Lister, uh, secured with rats. Got it. Ratchet wrench on rats. Yes, I got it on red. A large small red and adjustable. A large small red and adjustable red. I got it. Copy. Peter, now talking about you. OTA with swing arm and uh, tool caddy. I confirm. Copy. Also the uh, uh, rope for the winch. It's a tether. So, yes, it's at the very bottom. Yeah, it should be there. I cannot see from where I am. Yes, I have it in my pocket. Okay, copy. Glitter with GoPro. With red, excuse me. With red. I got glister red there. Uh, in about a minute, we're going to enter the eclipse and uh, wretched wrench. Uh, wretched wrench and red, yes. A large red and adjustable. Okay, large red and adjustable on the handrail. Copy. Uh, let's move to large items. Um, crew walk bag number one. Uh, is it present in account before? Crew walk bag. It is with the uh, cable ties. Yes, we have it. Crew walk bag number two. Crew walk bag number two. I got it. Crew walk bag number two. Bag number two. Is, has the vice grips. Yes, got those. Flyers. I see them at the bottom. Orange. They're orange. And the device for uh, connector cleaning. Yes, those uh, uh, bottles under pressure. Yes, uh, cap keeper. Got it. Uh, with the caps uh, attached. So you guys, you can ingress if everything is present, all the tools are present, then you can perform the ingress. Copy.
вошел. If you want is in. Copy. Peter. How about I'm going to start handing you the bundles. Okay, go ahead. This is Mission Control Houston. Oleg Novitsky now inside uh, the Poisk airlock. He is uh, taking a handoff of equipment from uh, Pyotr Dubrov, who will soon join him inside the Poisk airlock. The uh, official end of this long excursion today by the two cosmonauts will be marked at the point of hatch closure. A long spacewalk, but a successful one in which uh, two power cable bundles uh, were routed and mated to provide electrical capability and continuity between the U.S. segment of the station and the new Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. Bag. Hold on a second. Don't remove it. Okay, removing it. Did you remove it? Yes, I did. I am ready to take the next bundle. I think the handrail bundle got pushed outside, Oleg. Oh, I apologize. I apologize, I didn't see them. I was sending them to you, thinking you're ready to take them. Okay, I secured those. at all? Yeah. As far as handrails are concerned, yes. It is attached to the hook. I will take it off uh, my hook. Here comes the second crew back. I want to tuck in this uh, particular end so it doesn't get in the way.
Okay, I got it. Well, you know, the antenna. Uh, well, taking imagery of the antennas. Well, I removed all the uh, bundles and I'm ready to ingress. Hold on there. I am uh, trying to free up some space for you. Okay, copy, Alex. So are you in the hatch opening? I am. Are you inside the hatch opening? I am near. I am near the hatch. Yeah, you can. And right now the equipment is a little bit in the way. Okay, here you go. A little bit this way, uh, your, uh, your feet and legs. Oh, your hook is there. I am holding on to you. So are you? Are you holding on? I am removing the second hook. I didn't know. I need, I removed the hooks. I need to move uh, with my feet there. Okay, I'm in. I am in as well. MCC Moscow, how do you copy? Our town, we're both in. Start removing the protective ring. Uh, turn on the sublimator for drying. And with this going on, uh, continue. Выключайте сублиматоры. Okay. So we'll just... So, just... so turn off the sublimators. Uh, you should see the indicator TO drying. TO drying. Okay, V1, V2, confirm uh, the indicator TO drying is eliminated. Copy. Should I remove the ring? Or should I wait? If you're done, if you're done with uh, Gennady, talking to Gennady, uh, then you can remove the ring. Copy.
So are you uh, moving? Yeah, let me turn around. Do you want to uh, shorten the tether? So my uh, foot is behind the handrail. Okay, I removed it. Hold on. I am also removing the ring. This is Mission Control Houston, seven hours, 43 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. The two cosmonauts are back inside the Poisk airlock, removing uh, the protective ring that they placed around the hatch at the beginning of today's activities earlier today. We'll be standing by for the closing of the hatch uh, that will mark the official end of today's excursion. Hold on. Moving over there. Once again, uh, Novitsky and Dubrov uh, completed the major objective of this spacewalk, the first of some 11 spacewalks planned for the outfitting and activation of the new Naoka multipurpose laboratory module, that being the mating of power cable bundles and uh, the routing of power uh, between uh, the U.S. segment of the station through the Zarya module all the way to Naoka. Good electrical continuity and good power being reported uh, flowing to the new module. The head opening. Okay, copy. Uh, Peter, now you need to uh, turn off uh, the ERCA uh, helmet cameras. Uh, you can use uh, the other lights. Why? If you need additional light, we do not need light. I see the. You see, both cameras are off and the LEDs are not on. What about the lights? The lights are not on for some reason. I turned off the light on the right side. I turned off one camera and we see the other camera still. I turned off uh, the second camera. What about the lights? Uh, you can turn the lights off after you close the hatch. And right now you can start closing the EV hatch. First of all, you need to inspect uh, the interface, surfaces of the hatch and the O-ring in the seals. The final hatch closure will be on MCC Go. Okay, copy. Sounds good. Uh, right now, the sublimator counter is 2050, uh, and it's incrementing. So it's not a 2055. It's not 10 minutes and counting down. Yes, we set our own timer, and we'll let you know when. Yes. Okay, copy. Oh. The interface surfaces, contact surfaces of the hatch are normal. I do not see any contamination or fog. Uh, what about the uh, seals, the rubber seals? It will be a more complicated task.
I need to turn around so I can look at it. I can look at uh, them from this side. So it would be easier because the white is still on. Well, it looks, the seals look normal. There's a little bit of dust. We're here. How are the gaskets? Rubber gaskets. Is everything okay? We already reported about that. Oops, there was an LOS then. Huh. That's interesting. We checked out all the seals, gaskets, no commons. Uh, there is a little bit of dust, but other than that, they're fine. Great. Then uh, please release the adjustable tether. And uh, please use panel 201. Gennady told me that uh, we need to do it for his go. Well, it's the final closure of the hatch. So you remove uh, the hook, but you do not close the hatch. You leave a gap about 10 centimeters. For now. All right, we copy. Just uh, maybe a little more than 10 centimeters. But be prepared to close it immediately on our go. All right. I have my hook released, and now I am closing but not latching the hatch, leaving that gap. How, how is it? So the TO dry out is nominal for EV1. Yes, 10 minutes are up, so you can close the hatch. Copy. In work. We are closing the hatch. We copy. And please provide a running commentary on the process. I close the hatch, verify that nothing got caught. The handle is installed. And now please put that uh, hatch closure handle in position closed. Didn't work. 
And I am starting with the rotation of the hatch handle. And I see that the rollers are moving and engaging. Something got caught there again. It's a little strap. I am getting that little tie out or strap. And I will continue with the rotation, turning it. Copy. How much is left? All right. I did hear two clicks. Copy the hatch is closed. And the handle should be in position closed. Oleg, Piotr, congratulations. Your EVA lasted for 7 hours 54 minutes. It's great job. Well done. And I'm handing you over to Dima. This is Mission Control Houston. The hatch to the Poisk uh, module airlock now closed and latched. It's a shame. The official end of today's spacewalk, 5.35 p.m. Central time, 6.35 p.m. Eastern time. I think it was a wise decision. The duration of today's spacewalk, Russian spacewalk number 49 by Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov, seven hours, 54 minutes. Again, the spacewalk now officially over at 5.35 p.m. Central time, 6.35 p.m. Eastern time. The spacewalk uh, lasted seven hours, 54 minutes. We'll have other spacewalking statistics for you momentarily. Oleg, Piotr, this is Dmitry for airlock repress. Hello, Dmitry. Good to hear you. Hello, guys. All right. Folks, situate yourself for repress and freeze. Open um, cue card 10, and we'll start working part of the procedure. And as far as I understand, we've got Mark here as well. Well, guys, our hand, like I can't, we can hardly hold those cue cards in our hands. Could you please just provide us with voice commands? Are you ready, guys, then? Yes, we are. Mark, for the repress, how do you copy me? Copy you loud and clear. Wonderful. So, guys, let's start work for cue card number 10. So, it's going to be a repress of, uh, of the... Unintelligible. Uh, Piotr, verify. KSD is, uh, is um, closed and the repress um, is not illuminated. KSD uh, SI is closed. Okay, we confirm. And BUS is not illuminated on the panel. All right, great. Mark, do we understand correctly that PEGO SU SM hatch is closed. I confirm the PEGO 
Uh, so, uh, so ha she's closed. Now, on the pop panel, you need to send the Chavade Pahoa Su enabled. Uh, you will see the uh, LED illuminate, and then you open the Chavade valve, and you will see the LED illuminate. Chavade Pahoa Su enabled. And we confirm it is illuminated. Great. Is open. I press it. Great. Now you should see pressure increase. All right, I see the pressure increase. Should we close unintelligible? Come again. We did not copy you. Current, current pressure is two six zero. It should be two six zero. Copy two six zero. We copy. And we're standing by for six minutes. Well, we probably won't have those six minutes. The pressure is sixty. Copy. Zero twenty-eight for the SK for the second one. Copy. That's good. Ninety in the module. Zero point twenty-four for EV one. That's good. And monitor CO two. I got the same message. Likewise. And we copy about the messages. 120 is in the module, is in the airlock. 0 0.22 for EV1, 0 0.21 for EV2. We copy. One fifty is in the airlock. Zero point eighteen for EV. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, the uh, repressurization of the Poisk airlock uh, is uh, beginning following uh, the completion of today's activities by Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov. Uh, their spacewalk lasted seven hours, 54 minutes, ending uh, just a few minutes ago with the closing of the hatch to the Poisk airlock. Here are your statistics update. The uh, spacewalk today, the 242nd in support of Space Station assembly maintenance and upgrades. This was the 10th spacewalk conducted out of the International Space Station this year. The 5th during Expedition 65, two out of Poisk, three out of the Quest airlock. This was the second spacewalk of Oleg Novitsky's career. He now has totaled 15 hours and 13 minutes of spacewalking time, as has Pyotr Dubrov, his spacewalking partner. The two went out together for the first time back on June 2nd. Today's spacewalk lasted uh, seven hours, 54 minutes, as we mentioned a moment ago. This. Uh, is the equivalent now the 242 spacewalks in space station history now have totaled 1,527 hours and 35 minutes, which is the equivalent of 63 days, 15 hours, and 35 minutes of spacewalking time. Once again, uh, Novitsky and Dubrov completed the major objective of today's spacewalk, which was the installation and mating of power cable bundles from the U.S. segment of the station, uh, most notably uh, to the uh, interface panel at the Zarya module at uh, pressurized mating adapter number one, all the way to the new Naoka multipurpose laboratory module, which now has uh, good power being routed uh, from the U.S. segment uh, to the new laboratory laboratory module in this first of what is expected to be up to 11 spacewalks to outfit and activate the new Naoka module. 250 is in the airlock, 0 0.04 for EV1, 0 0.04 EV2, we copy. Uh, 
It's when it's less than 0 0.02, right? That's what we're standing by. That is correct. 260. Please uh, verify that This is Mission Control Houston. Once again, uh, the repressurization of the Poisk uh, airlock is underway. And Novitsky and Dubrov uh, completing a long day's worth of work at 7 hours 54 minutes for their spacewalk, but their work is not done. They will be back outside of the Poisk airlock next Thursday, September 9th, for the next spacewalk in the series to continue routing cables and the outfitting of the new Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. Our coverage of the next Russian spacewalk number 50 by uh, Novitsky and Dubrov will get underway next Thursday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 9.30 Central Time. The spacewalk uh, to get actually to begin at about uh, 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern 10 a.m. Central Time, about 30 minutes after our coverage begins. That spacewalk is expected to last uh, between five and six hours in duration. So uh, with Novitsky and Dubrov safely back inside Poisk and the repressurization underway, we will wrap up our long day's worth of coverage at the beginning of this holiday weekend by wishing you a safe and enjoyable Labor Day weekend. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here next week. This is Mission Control Houston. Okay, transition.